Agatha. What are you doing here? Have you come to see if my mother is dead? Why are you here? I, I don't understand. Does it mean I am no longer welcome in my late brother's house? Uncle, you've not answered my question. What are you doing here? Anyways, I am here to see your mother and also to find out how you people got the money for the operation. Is that all? Nguanu, I will answer your questions one after the other. Mama? He's our wicked uncle. He came to see if you are dead and how we managed to pay for your oppression, which he refused to give us money unless we give him our only piece of land. Hola, uncle. How are you? Uncle, I will answer your question. First, my mother is fine. And as for the money, let me tell you how we got it. Jesus sent someone. Yes. Jesus sent someone to pay for my mother. And you know what? He even gave us more than we needed, without a payback. Have I answered your question? I, I don't understand. How do you mean Jesus sent someone to give you the money? Of course, you know that is not possible. Anyway, let me take it as a joke. I am here to let you know that I am still very much interested in giving you that money. So that you can as well give it back to the person from whom the money was borrowed. And I have also instructed my lawyer to prepare the documents. When Oyema comes back, tell him to come over to my house and sign the document for the land. In case of urgency, either of you can as well sign the document. Uncle, take them. Eat them. Sign them yourself. Do whatever you want to do with them. After all, women don't sign land papers. Uncle, when you are take yourself out of this compound. Go. You know your way out. Go. Hola. You are not saying anything. It's all right. Go! Uncle, go! Eat the papers! Sign it! Eat it! Burn it! Do whatever you want to do with it! We don't need them! Wicked so! You mean Ofebu? Ofebu came to this house to talk nonsense. Indeed. He should thank his God that I wasn't around. Else I would have taught him the lesson of his life, I swear. But I calm down. Calm down. Don't bother yourself. With the way I handled him, he will regret ever stepping his feet into this compound. I handled him very well. Mama, Okoya. Oh no one, Joker. She showed him 99. Mm -hmm. The menu one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ha! I showed him Pepe. Yeah, I know what you can do. I trust you. Uh, by the way, <clears throat> let's forget about uh, Ofebu. I call this meeting for us to discuss something very important. Okay. Mama? Yes, my son. Agatha, you remember that my friend I used to talk about, Jibweze, that my friend that based abroad. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. I remember him, the one that stays in Holland, right? Uh, from our neighboring community, okay? Bam. Iji, eh? Okay. Which one, Odia? What about him? Uh, Mama, I, I called him a few days ago. You know, I told him what I've been going through, how difficult things are with me here in the village. Um, good thing he gave me a listening ear. Well, he said if, um, if there's any way I can find my way to Holland, that will give me a connection that will make me make money as soon as possible. Ah. Yes. Man, the guy we get him. Hey! Ah, the guy is, I've not shown you his house. You need to see the mansion the guy built. Where's your cool? Of cars in his compound. Where's your cool? I'm telling you. Yeah. Hmm. He has made money. So much money. So, how, how are you going to go about traveling? You and I know we don't have money for you to travel abroad. Uh, Mama, I understand what you're trying to say, but that shouldn't bother you. I am planning 
to sell that our land do what papa left for us and so whatever money i make from selling of that land i will process uh, my traveling documents and book my flight ticket so whatever that is left mama will give it to you you start up business with it so both of you be managing from that money so when i get that make money <laughs> yeah. 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 I, never I trust you <laughs> Hey! Uh, take game, brother. I trust you, I trust you. Oh, yeah, my son. I don't have problem with you traveling abroad. At least it will make me happy. But my problem is you selling the only land your late father left for us. You know that is all we've got. Ah, uh, Mama, don't worry. No ever for boutique. Once I get there and make money, trust me, Mama will send money. We'll buy plenty land. One land, I'll replace with at least about four or five lots of land. Trust me. I can't tell you what I'm hey, Mama, Mama, I think I think I, I, I see a point in what um, Brother just said. Mama, I think he has a point. Before that, our wicked uncle will go and sell that land. You won't know what he can do. He's capable of doing it. Hey, Mama, mm, I suggest you should sell it. Eh? It's just a suggestion. Eh? But, but my only problem now is if you get to Holland, how will you locate your friend? I mean, I don't want you to be stranded over there. Uh, that won't be a problem. I, he will send me his name and his details. So as soon as I get there with his details, I can locate him. Mm, okay. Um, um, okay. Mama, what do you think? All right. I give you my support. <laughs> <laughs> um, you now look for a buyer. Hmm? And sell the land. Ah. Mama, have a buyer already. Uh -uh. Oh, go, go on. Hey, hey. <laughs> I was to <supposed> minister. And... <laughs> <laughs> that was faster. Uh -huh. You can't wait. At all. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Mama. Yes, my son. Now that I'm done with my travel arrangements, I'll be going to Lagos tomorrow. I have um, one or two other things to do before I leave this country in two days' time. Mm. Mama, please, that money that I gave to you, Biko, use it wisely, Biko. And um, Agatha, be very careful because I can see all these village boys looking at you, flocking ah. around you. Me? Mm. Ah. Me? Ah. Mm -mm. Not me. It's me. It's you. I don't know what you're talking about. Please take care of Mama. I will. Mm. I trust you. Mama, please. You have to be very strong for me. Hmm? Please. Um, I am going over there, Kambutike. Be strong for me, so you enjoy and reap the fruits of your labor. Kambutike kanyegi kine wongo. Mama, you suffered for me. You suffered so much. Don't worry, my son. Hmm? Don't worry. By the time you come back, I'll be here waiting for you. Hell and hearty. Hmm? Hmm. Ah. Mami Malugono, you know, a belen denne, motherly blessing. I want you to pray for me. I want to be blessed as I leave this country. Well, of course, you know I'm going to do that for you. Eh? I have to do that so that uh, everywhere you go, roads will clear for you. And so that you go there, you know, so that our enemies will be put to shame. Amen. Oh? So, um, um, an elder, um, you do us in prayers. Okay. Um, uh -huh. uh, let's be on our feet. Um, Mama, sit down now. You know, you are not feeling very well. No, no, not on this one. I must stand up for God. Oh, yeah. uh, because what he's about to do for me is too much. Hey. Mama, you said you sing this song, study prayers. Uh, nah, neither. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God.
Hai Oni nyakamo Oni nyakame Oni nyakamo Jesus you my all in all Ebe ko dike dika barabia Apo go to boro izu boriri Ebe mbaba me Ogungwara guo Jesus you my all in all Asimu nebe kwa dike Dika barabia Apo go to boro Izu boriri Ebe mbaba me Ogungwa sirike Jesus you my all in all Father in the mighty name of Jesus My son Sopuru is my love. My love for him is better for us. Mr. Love, 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 love. What I love is genuine love for my husband. Mr. Love, 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 love. Oh, my father, my brother, no man may answer. Yes, in my love, 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 love. Again. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why? Huh? I see nothing. I'm, I'm okay. No! Don't tell me that you're okay. I am not a kid. When I see somebody that is in a bad mood, I will know. As I'm looking at you here, you are in a bad mood already. Why? Huh. Auntie, what do you expect from me? I'm not a happy woman. I'm sad. I'm lonely. She don't expect me to sit here and be happy knowing that my husband is in prison. And also knowing that he's going to be there for a long time. I'm not happy. I sometimes feel like I should uh, put put an end to all of these sufferings because God, I'm tired. Huh. You are going too far. You want to kill yourself? What happens to your child? What will happen to your husband when he comes back and finds out that you killed yourself? Why are you saying this? Answer me! Oh, you don't want to talk. Hmm. My dear. You have to take things easy. You have to take it easy. Sooner or later, your husband will be back. To take care of you and your child. Please. Please. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you, Nancy. <sighs> My dear. I've been wanting to tell you something. What is it? I'll be leaving tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. Ah, Auntie, you just want to kill me now. How can you be leaving tomorrow? What happens to me? I'll be stuck here lonely and sad. Ah, Auntie, please now. You promise you're going to be with me through this situation and all. So, I mean, why is where is this coming from? Yes, I did. But there was a change of plan. My husband called me yesterday. He told me that my second son is sick. And since he has been crying, calling mommy, daddy, call mommy to come and take care of me. 
has been crying calling me. Please, I want you to understand. Let me go and take care of this sick boy. I'll be coming to check on you from time to time. Please. Hmm? Okay, um, I know, but can you just leave it? Today is Wednesday. Just leave it to next weekend, at least. So that I can prepare my mind psychologically that, yes, you live in. Because this is just like a shock. I mean, like waking up tomorrow and... Ah, auntie, please, next weekend. Oh. It is fine. Ah. Okay, let's do it like this. A day after tomorrow. Oh, auntie, a day after tomorrow. Tomorrow is the same. I mean, what difference would that make? Well, it's not like I have a choice. Because your son is sick. That's... Okay, it's fine. I'll, I'll manage. I'll be here lonely. No, you are not alone. I'm miserable. The child is with you. Mm. Hmm? And God also is with you. I'm just tired. Please, don't say that. Mm. It's okay. Whew. Wow. No, leave it. No, please let me help you. Hey. <clears throat> nah. I have to be on my way now. Hmm? Please make sure you take care of the baby and yourself. Hmm? Auntie, I can't believe that you're leaving me all alone myself in this house. So you're going like this, like this, like this, now you're going, you're leaving me. But, listen, stop saying that you're alone. You are not alone. But God I'm alone. is with you. I'm alone. Huh? Don't forget that the baby is also with you. Huh? Like I said, I will be coming from time to time to check on you people. Huh? Come on, let's go. Mm. Huh? Let's go. Let's go, Joseph. I want to cry. Uh -uh. <laughs> Meaning what? It's okay. Mm. Eh? I promised you that I will be coming from time to time. Mm? I will not fail. Let me just... Where is your son? I said, where is your son? Why must I tell you my son's whereabouts? Why? That still has not answered my question. I said, where is your son? Uh, uh, Mama, why are you talking? Uh -uh. Mama, why is he shouting? Why are you shouting? He's, he's asking me where your brother Onyema is. Ah, is that what you are saying, small, small? <laughs> tell him now. You did not tell him that your son is now in Obodo Ibo. In fact, Uncle, let me tell you myself. My brother is now in Obodo Ibo abroad, making Oibo money. Hmm? At least 
he will not come to ask you for money again. Have that answered your question? You mean your son traveled overseas? Uh -huh. How did it happen? Huh. How come nobody told me? Why, why should we tell you? Why must we tell you? Why? Jukwaya. Ofebu, why must we tell you? What do you care about us? Huh? Ever since your brother, my husband died, have you ever checked on us? Never. Have you ever cared about us? Never. How we feed and how we take care of ourselves? Have you ever? Never. Now I should come and tell you where my son is. You see, Bwongwegi, you lie. Anyways, that's not why I'm here. I was driving past, and I saw people walking on that land your son promised to give me. For the money I wanted to give him, to give to people to pay the money you, 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 the, the, these people lent you for your surgery. Hey, uncle, calm down. What are you saying? Genti, we did not borrow any money from anybody, and nobody's coming to collect money from us. Let me ask you, what is your business with the people on that land? Oh. Why, why, why did you go there? What for? Maka, why? I asked one of them, and he told me your brother sold the land to his brother. That is why I have come here to find out if it is true. As what? Ofebu. Ofebu! Ofebu, you not talking about Ofebu! The land was my son's land. Ah. And he sold to whoever he wanted to sell to. What is your problem, Ofebu? Ofebu, I will have my Hapunu, my canoe. Leave my family alone. Leave us alone. Agatha, I'm Mama. going to the shop. Make sure you go and buy the bread for me. Nemo, go eh? Dim pianya. You are walking out of me? That means what I am saying doesn't make sense to you. It's all right. And even you, Agatha, you are walking out of me. Uncle, I'm walking out of you. What will you do? It's I'm all right. We shall see. You shall see yourself. Don't worry, we shall I see. Have to call you. You, do nothing. you can't do anything. I said we shall see. You will see yourself. It's all right. No problem. out of everything in this house. I'm out of food. How am I going to cope? What am I going to do? God, look at me. To you because I'm in their need of money. Do you know I don't have anyone to run to except you. I really need money. As I'm speaking to you, I don't even have food in my house. I'm so hungry. I can barely feed. I 
have not been eating well. And because of that, my baby too, ha, there's no adequate breast milk for him. Do you know that my baby cried all night because of food? I think the breast milk is no longer enough. But where do I find money from to buy milk? I don't have money to buy baby food. I can't even eat up more baby food. But I need to buy at this point, I think I need to buy baby food for him. So that at least I can use that one to compliment. That's why I've come to you. So please, help me with money. You know I'm not lazy. Ordinarily, I would have gone to look for something to do, but the doctor said I can't even do anything now until my operation is fully healed. Right now, I can barely lift a bucket. Any amount you have, oh, I'm not saying you should dash me. Just borrow me. As soon as I am strong enough, I would work and pay back. And if I give you money now to buy baby food, what will you eat? How, how are you going to be eating? My own is not a problem. The most important thing right now is my child. I'll be fine. So long as my baby is fine, I will be alright. What do you mean that your own is not important? So you don't care about yourself? You don't know that you're supposed to be eating so that you'll be strong. You'll have strength to feed your baby. Eh? Do you want to collapse? You want to faint one day? Eh? So what are you expecting me to do? I mean, what do I do? What do I do? I'm helpless now. What do I do? That's why I'm always telling you to go and seek help from your parents. Especially your father. Your father has enough money to take care of you and your baby. At least until your husband comes back from prison. But you will not listen. Eh, 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 please, oh. Ginika, please. Just say something else. I don't want to get I don't want to get offended. Please. So he's still your father. Hey, hey, excuse me. He's not my father. He is not. I am still looking for my real father. When I find him, I will let you know. I am never going to collect anything from that man. How many times do I need to tell you this? Oh, so my father sent my husband to jail so that he can be feeding me and be taking care of my baby or what? I should be here receiving money from my father who sent my husband to prison. I mean, think about what you're saying. Does it even make any sense to you? How do you think I can collect help or money from that man? Who is the reason for my problem? Or do you think I'll be begging for food today if my husband was not in prison? If I collect money from him, what will I explain to my husband when he comes out of prison? That I sold him to be collecting money for food? What kind of betrayal is that? Let me tell you. I will never, not in this life, even if that man is the last human being on earth, so in fact, in a death situation, if I need somebody to save my life and that man is the only person that will save my life, I rather say goodbye to this world and die. That is how serious I am. I am not going to collect money from that man. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. So oh. please, though, just say something else. Though. Are you giving me this money or not? If you're not, let me start going. Ha! Oh. Huh. Excuse me. Please go and give me what you have, Joe. Stop being Shakara. She can't collect money from my father. Cannot collect money from him. Oh. <laughs> Never reach like that. I lie. <laughs> Take this is six thousand naira. You just have to manage it. I would have given you huh. more money, but Thank I you. gave some money to my mother. <laughs> okay. I was scream it. Who the most beautiful girl in this village? Oh, ne. How are you? Ogbona, <laughs> it's it's me, it's me, Ogoma. I, I said, how are you? I'm fine. I mean, you've been seeing me like every day in this village. So this one that you're hailing and praising me, I'm only wondering. Does it's it? the same me, your best friend's wife. <laughs> I know. Ha, okay. I know, I know. That is why I'm praising you. I just how wanted to be sure that you know who you're referring to because where is all of this title coming from? Where are you coming from? I'm coming from the market. And each time I look at you, I understand how hard it has been for you. You say now that your husband, my best friend, has been in prison. Honestly, it's heartbreaking. I don't even know how to... But you've been a strong woman, honestly. You've been strong. The Lord I... is my strength. I know that things have been really difficult. In fact, you can say that I am an example of that woman that has been to hell and back. But to the glory of God, he has been faithful <sighs> and he has always been there for me and my child. Ne. Ne, truly. When I say I understand, trust me, I truly understand what you're going through. Honestly, I... Wait, wait. Don't really... Don't really have much here, but... Let me see. Okay. Let me keep this one for transport. Take. No, it's from my heart. I mean, take. 
steaky. See, when you get home, make sure you buy enough beverages for your son and use the remaining to at least get something that both of you can eat and be happy. Eh? Your, hus see, your husband is my best friend and... This is a lot of money. I know. All this money for me. It doesn't matter. All that matters now is that I want you to be happy and want your son to be happy and healthy. That Just is like that. Please. <laughs> <laughs> um, Obon, are you are you sure about this? Please, can you go and get something for your son too? Yeah? Okay. Go now, please. Yeah? Don't worry. Everything will be fine. I am here. As far as I am in this village, I will make sure that you do not lack anything but you and your son. Your husband is my best friend. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's my best friend. Yeah? Hey, Please hey. make sure you buy enough beverages for your son. Eh? Yeah. Take care of yourself. Eh? Oh. Ubuna giving me money. I really don't understand. But I have a feeling about this money. I have a feeling about this money. There is something about his intentions. Hmm. I have to be very careful. I have to be very careful. I mean. Fine girl, fine girl, the most beautiful woman. Where is all that coming from? <laughs> I hope it's not what I'm thinking. like this what is it you know there's a portion of the bible that says teach me how to fish hmm? okay. and not give me fish do you remember mm -hmm. as a friend you have gone far and beyond for me you have you have exceeded my expectations Kinika, you have tried for me. At this point in my life, I want to be able to take care of my responsibilities. I want to take charge of my life financially. I don't want to come running to you every now and then because I'm hungry and I need money. You are just one human being. You have your own responsibilities. You have things to take care of. That's why I want to take this burden off you. Please, oh, please don't be angry. Oh. If it's not too much to ask, can I be following you to that your site where you work? So that at least I can join you in the same job. So I can make my own money. 
That way, you two, you will rest from a wahala of always begging. Please, introduce me to them. Carry me along. Ogoma, wait, I don't understand. Are you trying to tell me that you want me to take you to the site where I do my menial jobs? Yes. No, I'm Please. sorry, I cannot. Why not? I cannot do that. Not in this your condition. Eh? How can I how can I take you to the site where I'm doing menial jobs for you to follow me and go and do menial jobs? Eh? Do you want to kill yourself? Oh. No, I can't do that though. I cannot do that. If it's about you coming here to be asking me for money every day, there is no problem. I am not complaining. After all, you are my friend. Kinika, I am complaining. Eh? Me, who is always collecting, is complaining. Even the Bible says it is more honorable and better to give than to receive. Kinika, I am complaining on your behalf. Ah ah, what is it now? You are one human being now. Did you come to this life because of me? You have your own problems, you have your own responsibilities. Did you come to this life to suffer because of me? How can you be walking and toiling all at, at the end of the day, you, you, you give me the money? And as for my health, don't worry, I am okay. I am strong, I'm strong and I, see, I have been lifting things now. I can, see, I am strong enough, nothing will happen to me. Please, take me, take me, be cool. Okay, there's no problem. I will take you to the site. Eh? No problem. But I hope nothing is going to happen, no. I just hope nothing is going to happen. Nothing will happen. Okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. I am fit. I am strong. When I say strong, I can do 50 press ups for you. <laughs> I'm not even joking, no. What hey, is that? My, go my, my see, friend. This car is already huge. <laughs> see? See? It's okay. Sit down. See now. You're you're just very ah, stubborn. You just want you? to. Oh, 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 oh. He's very proud of his money. He no a joke at all when it comes to money. Oh, 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 oh. He's very very proud of his money. Oh, 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 oh. He no a joke with his business. Now only money language can make you day in peace. With your worker. Naya, I want to talk to you. I tire for this man. What, what? About our daughter. Thank you, I'm busy. Busy that is more important than our daughter? Eh? Are you ready to listen to me now, or should I start scattering everything on, the, on this table? Just try it. Try it and see what I will do to you. Eh, I should try. I, should I, should I? Now, now you better listen to me, oh. You just better listen to me. Or something will start now to happen, and you, you know you know what I can do. I'm not keeping quiet anymore. I know your plan is to scatter this thing and steal my money, but you have failed. Now what is it? Talk to me, but let it be something reasonable. Since you took our son-in-law Sopo to jail, I want to know how many times you have visited our daughter to know how she and our grandchild are faring. That's what I want to ask you. Well, thank God you said our daughter, not only my daughter. And let me also ask you, as her mother, how many times have you visited her? Of course, I don't need to go there. If she, she needs something, she will have come here crying for help. I thought you, you have something important to say. Oh. So what I'm saying is not important. Eh? Huh? You are asking me such questions. Well, are you not the one that said I should not step my feet there? Threatening me that if I go there, you will, you will take every property of my, my, my brothers just because you buried my father. Yes, I said that and I still mean it. So why are you complaining? Why are you complaining that she's not coming to ask for, for, for your help? You heard her say that she can never set her feet in this compound anymore. You heard her. How is it my business? Let her stay there and suffer now. Because... I am counting my money. Because. You know what? I just want to tell you that I will go to that compound. I will go visit my daughter. Let anything that will happen start now to happen. If I get Try Try He's very proud of his money. He no de joke at all when it comes to mommy. Okwego. Okwego is very, very proud of his money. 
Uh, Johnson, Johnson, uh, are you done servicing that KK? Uh, okay, just hurry up because another driver is coming to take it. No, don't, don't worry, the other one is no longer uh, 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 driving it. The other, forget the tire, just give it to the organizer, let him patch it. I don't have money to buy another tire. Uh, how much? 800, just to service KK. Okay. I will give you 150. Okay. Oh, you are here. Okwego. Okay. It's you, Okwego. Okay. Ah. I greet okay. you. You're welcome. This one, you are coming into my house, shouting, blah, blah. I hope all is well. It's you, Okwego. Okay. How can all be well? How can all be well when I saw your only daughter carrying block on her head? And her five months old baby on her back working. Huh? How can I be well? Ichi Okwego, let me ask you, why are you this wicked to your only daughter? Eh? After sending her husband to prison, now she's working. I was just coming back and I saw her carrying block on her head and her baby on her back climbing upstairs. She's now suffering. To put food on her table when she has a rich father like you. Huh? Ichi Okwego, why are you so mean? So mean to your only daughter that you want her to die before her time. First, you sent her husband to prison. And now she's suffering. She's suffering to make sure she eats. Huh? Woman, you and your husband should reason together like man and wife before it is too late. Because if anything happens to that girl and her child, hmm, I'll tell the whole world who killed them. It's your okay, okay. And you think I've not been talking? You think I kept quiet? Hmm. I am happy you are here. At least you talk to him man to man. I am happy. We had issues yesterday because of this same matter. So please, talk to him. Talk to him. Woman, is not just about talking. Play your role as a mother. Do what you are supposed to do as a mother. It's you okay, okay? It's you okay, go. Why are you clapping? What is the clapping for? Because my wife has given you an assignment and that's exactly what we are doing. She asked you to talk to me and you are talking to me as a man to man. Okay, you came all the way from your house to my house to come and tell me how to run my family. Okay, huh? Ichi Okwego, did I hear you well? Which family? Have you any family? Which family are you running? Is this thing you are doing what you call running a family? <laughs> hey, Ichi Okwego, you should be ashamed of yourself. Which family are you running? First. You sent your son-in-law to prison out of wickedness. Your son, your one and only son, ran out of your house because of your wickedness. Now your only daughter is doing menial jobs to put food on her table. And you are here claiming to be running a family. Which family are you running, Ichi Okwego? You must be a fool. Just pray. Pray that nothing happens to that girl or her child. Because if anything should happen to them, hmm, then you will know there are men in this community. Wait, 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 shut up. Wait, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You are talking to me. Look at you. I am wearing red cap. I am wearing red cap. For that, we are not met. I will be cheap. We are not met. Okay? Now, let me remind you in case you have forgotten. That girl in question is my daughter. The child you are talking about is my grandchild. The stupid boy, the idiot that I sent to prison is my son-in-law. So how is it your business? Man, leave my house. You shut, shut up and keep quiet. Ichi Okwego. The second is shut up you are and shameless. keep quiet. In Anaya, I'm leaving. I have endured enough. That it is Okwego, shut up. Yes, shut up Okwego. Shut up! You have been using me like this. But I said no. Not anymore. Okwego, you must do something for my daughter. You must do something for my daughter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, please. 
I am suspecting you and okay. Suspect anything you want, I don't care. Eh? I don't just care. You don't care? Yes. You don't care? Yeah, okay, can I get him? Call it anything you want. Hey. Say anything you want. Leave my clothes. I will not leave you. Yeah, this is leave my clothes. I will not leave you. Go and do something for my daughter. After all my sufferings, going up and down under the sun, with my child on my back, up and down the stairs, 2,300. Hey! It's okay. Tomorrow will be better and greater. At least this will feed me for some days. Gumma. Mama. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? God is faithful. Ugo, so it is true. So it is true you went for a menial job with my grandchild. Under this your health condition. Eh? Why? <laughs> Do you want to injure yourself and the, and the innocent child? I'm asking you. You're asking me why? And I guess ah. this is what you could make after all your suffering. Mm -hmm. Okay? So why? Mama, are you seriously asking why? You're asking me why? Oh, you don't know? Hey, since you have forgotten, let me remind you. Your husband sent my husband to prison. My husband is currently in prison because your own husband sent him there. That is why. Okay, so what were you expecting from me? You don't have to talk like this. Mm -hmm. You know, I... I, I did everything I could mm -hmm. to stop your father from that ugly act against your husband. Indeed. And you also know that if I had my way, mm. I wouldn't have allowed him to do what he did. Mm. Hey, Wonderful. Hey, Mama. Medicine after death. It is too late to cry when the head is off. All this one you're saying now is medicine after death. What? Okay, you, you tried your best, but it still happened anyways. You tried your best, but my husband is right now in prison. So is your best good enough? Your best still sent my husband to prison. So there's no point, oh. Please, just leave me alone. Leave me to suffer the way I'm suffering now because that is what you and your husband want. I am okay. I am okay. I am not complaining. Okay? I did not come to you to beg for anything. I am fine. I am patiently waiting for God to bring my husband out of jail. And I will be fine. In fact, I am fine. I'm alright. I'm fine, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are not fine. And I know. <laughs> nah. Take this uh, money. Use it to buy whatever you can. And stop suffering yourself. Doing many out jobs under the hot sun with my grandchild. <sighs> I'm begging you, please have it. Mama, thank you very much. Hmm? Keep your money to yourself. In fact, take your money back home to your husband. I do not need it. I am okay. I am not complaining. Am I a beggar? Did I come to you to beg for food? No, 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 no. Did I come to beg for soup? Or did I come to beg you for gari or rice? So why are you pitying me? I am fine, oh. I am fine. I am doing okay. By the grace of God, God has been taking care of me and my child. I am fine. No, you are not fine, Ugumma. Looking at you tells me you are not fine. Please, have this money. Leave me alone. I don't want your money. I don't need your money. I am fine. 
I am okay. I have my own money. There is pride in the money you work for. This is my sweats. It doesn't matter how I suffered, but it is okay. You think you can put my husband in prison and then you come here to give me money? You think you can buy my conscience? You think you can buy my conscience, right? It is not possible. As long as my husband remains in prison, I do not want to have anything to do with your money. I don't need it, mama. Take your money back home to your husband. Thank you. Mrs. Okwego, I don't want your money. Uh, hey, uh, please give me two cups of rice. One cup of beans. Do you have something to add? Yes, ma'am. Let me have one. Then, um, uh, hey, give me pepper, 50 naira. Crayfish, 100 naira. Okay. Give me onions, fruit. Okay. How much is the onion? 50 50 now. Okay, give me two. No, make it one. One okay. Ah, Abuma. Hey. Ah, uh -uh. Abuma. Ah, Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, no. What are you doing here? I came to buy food stuff. Hey. Okay, uh, Nne, calculate the. No, no, it's um, fine. I'm, I was already paying. Just say, give me my change, though. I'm done. You would allow me to pay for... Please, though, you've done more than enough. Don't worry yourself. Uh, uh, okay, fact, you, 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 you know what? Since you have refused me from paying, let me now give you something. So that when you go home, you can use it to buy something for you. And take it. Oh, no, take much. it. Ah, eh? This is too much. All these monies you've been giving to me, I don't know how I'm going to ever pay you back. Oh. Pay me back? For what? No, pay me back for what? This you're saying is even trying to annoy me now. Will I ask you to pay me back something I gave you from the bottom of my heart? The bottom, bottom. You think I, no, no, it's not possible. Everything I've given you, I've given you thick. So I am not giving you this money for you to repay me. I just want you and your, your your child to be happy. So when you go, use this money and buy some beverages for your baby and for yourself. If you need more, let me know. Eh? Obama, thank you. Obama, Obama, call me Obama. Uh -huh. I appreciate this. Thank oh. you. God uh -huh. bless you. Uh, make sure you buy beverages for your baby. I will. Eh? Yeah. Oh. You go ma. I'm gonna own there. Go. Uh, who is that? Next time when she wants to buy anything, you 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 come. You tell me. So that I will I will pay for it in, in advance. Yeah? I like helping people. Oh bonna. <laughs> oh bonna, my guy. <laughs> See, there's this thing I've been thinking, looking for a day like this to ask you. What makes you think Goma will accept you as a boy? You see why I keep telling you? Do you know that the way you are black? That is the way your, your brain is black. <laughs> How can you be asking me a, a full grown girl that I saw by myself? Do you think it is easy for a woman to, to be all by herself and take care of a child? She has agreed. That is why she's collecting my money from me and I'm giving her. She's accepting. Mr. Kiataka, what if you empty your account on her and she refuses? What will you do? Da! Da! It is not true. Do you have sense more than that lady? You, do, wait. Do you have sense more than her? She's not a fool and she will not even dare it. But if she tries it, she will pay me all my money. She, she will give hey. me all my money from A to Z. She will pay you all the money. Now let me ask you. What if you ask her to pay you all the money and she does that? What will you do? Who will give her the money to pay? Who will give her the money to pay? She does not have it. So there's no need. Don't even go there. Hi. Oh, what now? You're a very wicked person. You're a very wicked person. So you know the poor innocent girl that her husband went to jail? You want to use that predicament to take advantage of her? What are you saying? You are very wicked and heartless. You are very wicked and heartless. Obuna, you are wicked. You, are, you, are, you are your black heart. You are wicked. Hey, ha. incredible. Do you think she does not have sense? No, 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 no. You, you, you are even sh sh shouting here. Do you think she does not have sense? Eh? Where was she collecting all the money if she has not agreed in advance? Think. Use your brain. Use your brain. Eh? Hi. Have you forgotten the saying that uh, that uh, the, the the devil you know is better than and the angel you don't know? Do you think somebody is coming back? Eh? Five years. Five years. 
he will die there. He will die there. It is, it is even better than that. that, 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 that. Okay. He will wait and she refuses. That is why you are here sitting like an idiot. We talk, but see, how do I to call her an idiot? Obuna, don't tell me that. Obuna, you amaze me. Have you forgotten that Ugoma is our best friend's wife? That is the more reason it should be me. Why must he be Ugoma? Eh? What is your problem? Hey, what is your problem? Why are you jealous now? Why are you jealous? Okay, I understand. I understand. You have gone and she refused. Hey, <laughs> You see, the truth, the truth is. For you brought this for us. It's actually very cute. Much more than that. Obon na. No, 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 no. Call me Obon. Obon. You know, each time you call me Obon like this, I'll relax. See if you now. I've heard all that you have said. I, uh -huh. you said you you love me hmm? from the bottom, hey, from the bottom of my heart. That is where the love is coming from. It's not ordinary love. <laughs> you love me and you want to be sleeping with me, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Isn't it? Of course, <laughs> I don't want to say it. You have said it. Before. No, it's uh, no, it's okay. We are adults. Yes. <laughs> you can spill it out. Yes. You want to sleep with me now, right? You want to sleep with me? Is it now? Eh? <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what you want. No, it's it's okay. It's well understood. And then to to ginger the swagger, you brought beer. Uh, you brought two bottles of beer so that we can ginger <laughs> before the action, right? Oh, uh, wise man. That's very smart of you. Uh, but Obom, yeah. unfortunately, yeah. I do not drink alcohol. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, just told me now, bring an energy drink. Uh, this is energy drink I will bring for you. Like, it, will, it will help you very well. <laughs> and even yeah. if I have to drink alcohol, I can only do that with my husband. Mm. Is the only one I share alcohol with. <coughs> Ubum, mm. can I ask you a question? Hmm? Can I ask you a question? Yes, okay. My husband is your best friend. Yes. He's in prison and you want to help his wife and family by sleeping with her. Or you need to sleep with her first before helping her because she's vulnerable, right? Supposing there's a turntable, and by that I mean, supposing the situation was turned around and you happen to be the one in prison. God forbid I will never be in prison. God forbid it will never happen to me. I will never be in prison. Never! Hmm. I now understand that uh, common sense is not <laughs> it's not very common. No? Don't worry, I'm going to speak in little words hmm? so that your chicken brain can digest it well. I said Eve, if you happen to be the one in prison and you make it out of prison only to find out that my husband was sleeping with your wife just to help her. How would you feel? How will it make you feel? Tell me. Are you going to be happy about that? Eh, Obona? Hey! Man. Man. Chai. I have suffered. <laughs> but I don't blame you. <laughs> don't blame you at all. Um, just give me a minute, so I will be back. Uh. Mm. <laughs> oh? <laughs> I know you. Bring up that. Bring up that. Ogbom. Uh, mm. uh, this is why you came with the 
ペーパーえ<笑><笑>オボン。On the seventh of April, you gave me ten thousand naira. Ninth of April, you gave me eight thousand naira. That is two days after the first ten thousand naira came in. Eleventh of April. You gave me twelve thousand naira <laughs> from my heart, like thick. <laughs> and on the fifteenth of April, you gave me three thousand naira. <laughs> so that is a total of thirty-three thousand naira. I don't even know the amount. No, important. don't worry. I was actually writing everything down. <laughs> See, okay. from the beginning of your kindness towards me, I knew where you were headed. I did. I saw through you. I knew you were never genuine. I knew it was never from your heart. I knew it was not for free. <laughs> I was 10 steps ahead of you. All the monies you have given to me is 33,000 naira. I have not taken a dime out of it. Because I somehow knew that a day like this will come. No, no, I'm not done. <laughs> when I'm talking, you have to listen to me. Listen until I finish. I want to go, it's okay. You cannot go without your stupid money. Here. See, this is your money. Foolish money. Stupid idiots. That is what you are. Do I look like a woman of easy virtue? When they see you, they think you are responsible. They don't know that you're just a fool. Big fool, idiot. Come and sleep with me now. Even if you are the last man on earth, I will never sleep with you. Evil man. Come on, come and pick the last to the last pieces. Pick them. And don't piss me off. Philanthropist. And let me not see, let me tell you the last one it is. I don't want to ever see you in my house. In fact, if you see me along the road, if I'm on the right, tilt to the left. If I'm on the left, tilt to the right. Because if we meet like this face to face, <laughs> you will know that I'm a mad woman. Idiot. I don't blame you, do I? It's not my father. If not for my father's heartlessness and wickedness, will I be seeing all this? Will my husband even be in prison? Um, Ichi Okwego. Your Majesty. I sent uh, for you because um, there was a report to the palace that your daughter was found with other artisans at a building site carrying blocks. And uh, more disheartening to the, the story was that uh, she was carrying her son on her hot son, you know, to make an ends meet. Whereas uh, you, as her father, is well to do and should be able to provide for her, considering the fact that uh, you are the one who sent her husband to prison. Uh, so, is this true? Well, Your Majesty, to be honest with you, I heard something like that. But the reason I did not believe what I heard is because, you know, in this our village, there are rumors, gossip everywhere. Why must my daughter do that? Eh? What does she want that I, her father, cannot provide for her? Eh? It, is, it is not true. Ever since you heard that, have you gone in search of her as to know how she is faring? Have you gone to know how she has been feeding ever since her husband was jailed? Your Majesty, that girl in question is my daughter. She is my daughter. I be sending money uh, to her to do my wife. Eh? You know the kind of business I do. I don't normally have chance. Eh? Uh, as for uh, 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 doing a liberal job, it is all a rumor. Don't tell me that. I know who you are. You can only tell that to a stranger and not me. Now listen to me. Go in search of your daughter and make sure that they are doing well. 
Your Majesty, with all due respect, you mean that I'm lying? I have told you, go in search of your daughter and make sure that they are found. If anything happens to her and her daughter, I will take it up with him. Your Majesty, you get out of my sight! father is that? No, whose father? Eh, because I'm still looking for my father. Do you know my father? Have you seen him before? I have told you that I don't have a father. Oh. As it is now, I'm in search of my real father. When I find him, I will let you know. This man standing here is not my father. This wicked man, this wicked soul standing here is not my father. Hey, wait a minute. Why, who, who is this man talking to? Are you in any way referring to me? No, are you talking to me? And which nonsense home are you talking about? What gives you the right to come to my company, my office, to order me around? Then they walk you. You are not mad. I don't want to believe that I'm, I'm the one you're talking to. Because it's only a madman that will walk into a place that he's not supposed to and be, uh, 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 and be giving orders. Ugoma, what is it? Ugoma, you and I know that I did nothing wrong to you or your husband. Your first party committed an offense and the law sent him to prison. Why are you blaming me? Just hear Okuigo. You, yeah? you can imagine. No, just hear the nonsense this man is screaming from his mouth. Imagine nonsense. You sent my husband to prison and you have the guts to come here and talk nonsense. Oh, no, no, wait. My husband just thrown into prison. No, prison is a very beautiful place. So he's thrown into it for tourism. See, you have to be careful. Okay, go, don't damn you. Don't let me lose it, oh. Don't let me lose it. Get. See, Ugo, my come, take, let me take you. Okay, drop that sack. I want to lose it for. Want, see, how can you be talking to your I father? I want to change that for this man now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Drop that your sack. Oh, yeah, let me know my. Take. Take, 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 take. Cover your hand with this. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Hold my picking for me. All away, no. What are you all away. I don't tell you say all away. All my picking away. All away. What are you trying to do? Go ma. What are you trying to do? Eh? Nonsense. See your picking they cry yo. Go ma. Go ma. Your picking they cry yo. Go ma. Go ma. Go ma. Come let me take you home. Wait. Wait for me. Where this man? No. Why you dey go? If I wait for me now, you dey crazy. Okay, go. Okay, go wait for me. Okay, go now go. Okay, go. Okay, go. Stop it, man. Go punish you. Go, go punish you. Go punish you, dear. Come and take your chest home. Stupid man. Foolish man. No, come. I go break down my head. The next time I see him, his blood will touch the ground. His blood must touch this man. Is he crazy? Is he mad? Is he crazy? Where you been there? Where, 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 where you been there? Foolish, foolish you. Why won't she chase you out, out with shovel? Eh? Can you forget the shovel? Where did you, why did you go there in the first place? Where you shamelessly and wickedly sent her husband to jail? He told you, Agaba? 
Didn't you hear her say that she will never have anything to do with you in this life again? Or you thought she was joking? Eh? Nonsense. Now I am no more in good times with my daughter just because of you. Let me tell you. You better think of a way to amend all this. Especially now that Digwe is involved. In Anoya. All this rubbish you are permitting here, all this rubbish you are saying here shows that you are in support of what your daughter did to me today. Just me, her father, out. With the shovel. If not that I entered my car and drove off, she would have hit me. So why did you drive off? Why were you running? You should have waited for her. Hey. Yes. Egwadatoge. You have not seen anything yet. She's just beginning. Nonsense. And let me tell you, if this thing continues like this, you will leave me with no option than to pack my bags here and go and live with her till her husband comes back. Well, I can see that both of you are planning to kill me, but you wouldn't succeed. I know what to do. There's nothing you can do. I know what to do. You, there's nothing you can do. You want me anything? Oh, we go and say you cannot do anything. And when you feel me, and when you feel gay, man, what have you done all these years? Can you feel me go all these years? I'm asking you. You're just just because of ordinary KK, you sent your 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 son in law to jail. Now they're Ordinary keke in echo. Please let me let, 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 let me hear what. My keke is ordinary keke. Ordinary keke, rubbish keke, useless keke, useless keke. Can you buy that tire? The tire of that keke. I can buy everything. Can you afford it? I can afford it afford you. Take your time. Take it, take it, take it. Okay, 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 I will change it. I will change five for you. Manda, you say a manda. I know you are very angry with your father and I. But I want you to understand that I tried talking to your father not to do all this. I tried. And I want you to know that despite what happened, he is still your father. Please forgive him. I'm begging. Forgive him. Forgive, you see? Mom, have you taken your time to evaluate the depth of pain and hurt that man's action is making me go through? Before you come here and speak to me about forgiveness, what did you do on your own part as my mother to ensure that this doesn't happen? Because it is easy for you to come and ask for forgiveness on behalf of a man who has made me suffer. I practically cried. I begged him to forgive my husband, but he refused. And you're coming to ask forgiveness on behalf of that same man. Mother, look at me. In my condition, I am out in the sun with my little baby on my back. I toil. I labor. I do many other jobs just so I can feed. There is no money coming to me from anywhere. If I don't work, I will not eat. I tie my baby on my back. Go under the sun. I toil. Just because I have a father who is heartless. Now you're begging me to forgive him. You were there the times I come crawling, crying, kneeling before him, asking for simple forgiveness for my husband. What was this crime? Something that could have happened to anybody. He couldn't forgive my husband. My husband is languishing in prison. All because of the same man. <laughs> Mama, please, oh, I, I am a Christian. <laughs> but don't come here asking me for the impossible because I am not God. Put yourself in my shoes. 
if you were in my shoes, are you going to be preaching forgiveness? Are you going to be able to forgive? No, answer me. Please, oh. <laughs> Mom, please. I just, I beg you, please. Just let the sleeping dogs lie. <laughs> forgive. My daughter. I, did. I know all this. And I have talked to your father. Please, I'm not Jesus. He gave me this 200,000 mother to give you. To take care of yourself and uh, our grandchild. At least it will go a long way. Mm. Please accept it. 200,000. I mean, is this supposed to be a bribe? 200,000. What can 200,000 Naira do to my pain? Is this going to wipe my tears? Is this 200,000 Naira going to bring back my husband? Or bring back the years that my husband is going to spend in prison? It's okay. It's okay. Please. It's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Thank you. Nine. Uguma is still angry. Very, very angry. She complained a lot. And I saw reasons in everything she said. Your daughter is in very big pain because of what you did to her. What of the money I gave to you to give to her? Did she collect the money? Mm, she collected it, but I, I am not comfortable with the way she collected that money. How do you mean she collected the money, but you weren't comfortable with the way she collected it? The most important thing is that uh, she collected the money because she needs it. Eh? You say she was lamenting. And that is because she doesn't have the money, but now she has the money. She will keep quiet. She would even like her husband to stay more years in the prison so that I will be giving her more money. You know, you women, you like money a lot. Eh? Okwego. Can you just listen to yourself? That our daughter will like her husband to spend more years in prison just because you gave her money. How are you even sure that she accepted that money? Huh? I don't understand you. But you said she collected the money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let it not be that you are, trying to, you, you are trying to deceive me and keep the money in your pocket because I don't trust you. Beatrice, let not be that you deceived me and keep the money in your pocket. Eh, 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 okay, go. Useless man. Oh, you are here. Look at your life. Stupid man. What do you think you're doing? No, 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 tell me. What is the meaning of that? That nonsense. You think by sending me 200,000 naira, you buy my conscience? You think money can buy my conscience? Oh, you think your stupid money can bring my husband out of, uh, out of the prison you sent him? Will your stupid money give back the father of this baby? Stupid, useless old man. I do not want to come to this company and warn you again. This is the last time you're going to send me your cost money. Okay, go. I do not need your money. I do not need your bribe. Do not bribe me. Sending me 200,000 naira cannot erase your sins. You will still die, perish, and go to hell. 200,000 I cannot, cannot, cannot stop that. Evil man, let me not come back here and repeat myself. Oh, I do not want to have anything in this life to do with you. As long as my husband remains in prison, you can never have peace. You can never know peace. 200,000 I cannot bring back your peace. You will still die and go to hell. Foolish old man, I will never have anything to do with you as a father. You are not my father. You are cursed. Now take, take your, take your, take your. 
cost. Take, take your cost money. Take it. Take it. Foolish old man. Stupid man. Onyara. You are not saying anything. He's very proud of his money. He not a joke at all when it comes to money. Okwego. Okwego is very, very proud of his money. Okwego, he not a joke with his business. Now, only Ugo, ma, sometimes I don't even understand you. How can you reject the 200,000 naira that your father sent to you? Mm -hmm. Do you know what that money can do in your life? Okay? okay, are you trying to tell me that you prefer going from one side to another, looking for liberal works to do? Sometimes I don't even understand you, eh? What is wrong with you? Genika, let me tell you. I return that money with my full chest. And I will return it over and over again. See, I'd rather suffer. In fact, I'd rather die than to collect money from that man. I have told him that I will never in this life have anything to do with him. Oh, he thinks I'm joking. He better not send me any of that, that cost money of his own because I'm not going to collect. What do you expect from me? You mean you expect me to sit back and collect money from that cost man knowing fully well that my husband is in prison today because of that same man? No, now I can't do that to my husband. That is the highest height of betrayal. <laughs> okay, we'll go my bot. <laughs> no bot, oh. Please, no bot. No bot whatsoever. Don't bot me. Please, oh, I'm not interested. Eh, hey, um, Ginika, how about that um, construction site you told me about? You told me that there's a site that needs workers now. Hmm, my sister, there's this construction company at um, Ama for Community. They say that they are looking for laborers, so that was what somebody told me. You mean Ama for here, our neighboring community? I'm telling community. you. Then what are we still waiting for? Ha, me, I need money, oh. Yo. As you see me like this, nothing gone me, Chim, but nothing. Hey, I don't have money, I'm broke. Please, I, when are we going? Tomorrow morning first and I'll come to your house. I'll Even if you say we should go today, now no, I'm ready. But since you say tomorrow, no problem, tomorrow. I'll be waiting for you. Don't worry, tomorrow we'll go I'd rather go and work and sweat for my money than to collect money from that house. We'll come at Elio so that we'll not get there and they'll say that they've collected somebody else. I'm not doing anything, do I have a job? I trust you now. Very early, we'll come at Elio. You mean this onions is for 1,000 now? Yes, so mama, 1,000. Huh. That woman. I don't know what's wrong with that woman. We're almost quite And there's only a few big ones that are inside, sir. Ha! Mama, I, I, I won't even try to, to buy from her. I won't try it. I won't try it. I won't try it. Imagine, I was telling her. Oh. Yeah? Ah, mommy, mommy. Mommy, good afternoon. My daughter, how are you? I'm fine. Oh. How are you, ma? I'm fine. How is my baby? Ah, fine. Oh. We are doing okay today. How is Thank work? God. Ah, God is faithful. Mommy, I, I hope you have that my bread. That one you used to keep of for course, me. Yes, it's that very bread. soft one. Yes. Uh -huh. Give her that bread that has a blue uh -huh. so Yes. Uh, which one do you want? Brown or white? Ah, no, ah. Mommy knows yeah. now. It's always the brown one. <laughs> Mama, do you know her? Ha, ah, mom, ha, mommy knows us very well. You know, she's like my big mommy in this village. You know I'm not from here since I came here to work. She has been the one taking care of us, me and my baby. <laughs> Please, oh, I want Coke. Okay. Eh, one Coke to flush it down. And one pure water, please. Thank you. Hi, baby. Ah, mommy, fine, oh, we are doing okay. Hi, ah, the work, eh, the work is just, anyways, I'm almost done for the day, Sha. Mm. Thank you. Let me put it I'll be my first drink the water. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. well mm. Mm. Like you know her very well. Ha, ha, mom, ha, mommy knows us very well. You know she's like my big mommy in this village. Since I came here to work, she has been the one taking care of us, me and my baby. You mean you take this baby to the site? Oh, no, 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 no. This one is too hot for the child. Now, why would you do that? Um, are you from this village? I'm not. No, no, I'm not from this community. It's the site work that brought me. What about your husband? Uh, you know, my, my, my husband, our daddy is on a very long trip. He's on a long trip. And you know, as a woman, it's not good for you to just sit down and fold your hands. So I'm just trying to put body and soul together. Yes. How come I've not seen her, Mama? Like, can, I, can I carry you? I'm even leaving the child with mommy because I'm going back to work. Okay. Hey, mommy. Yeah. Please, oh, take your baby. Oh, okay. mm? And let me have the cook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Mommy, it's like you help me change the nappy oh, so okay. because it's like the nappy is soaked ah, already. Yes, could, this baby is oh. so fine. Oh. Ah, I know. It doesn't look like you. I'm sure it looks like the ah, father. Ah, he's a man now. It looks like the father. <laughs> Even the color. <laughs> now man, now man, he be. <laughs> okay. 
so cute. Thank you. Cutie, cutie. You are big. Cutie, cutie. <laughs> like baby. How come I'm not seeing you with this child? Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, Mama, I will marry. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll I'll give How much? Give me one. Um, 250 naira. This is, you know the price already. Oh, okay, I'm begging me change. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Mommy, thank you. God will bless you for all the phone that she was there today. Uh, she was just asking me uh, why I'm uh, carrying my little baby and working, doing this kind of job. I just thought that our daddy traveled, <laughs> like he's on a long trip, and I don't want to stay in one place. I'm just trying to move around. I was like, oh, okay. So at least with her again around, that's a lot of relief. I hope you're not telling me anything about your husband. No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. I just thought that I like, traveled. Mm -hmm. She was still like, ah, are you from this village? Mm -hmm. I said, no, I'm not. I came from the other village. The mother was even telling her that, ah, don't worry, I know her story. Hi. And I said, ah. So at least now that she's around, she'll be happy and more than her to help me look at my baby. Thank you. So that's a lot. At least I can. Mm. If, if I'm not here with, if I'm here without the baby, at least this will give me. Mm, to make you work well. I'll work better. I'll make more money. So they should be there. Ah, I'm very happy. Oh. They are good people, though. That woman. They that woman people. is a good woman. I'm sure the daughter is a good woman, too. Thank God, though. I'm taking a job now, do Let's hurry up so that we'll go back to work. Hmm? Mm. I put her in it. She said she was going to beat the baby for me. So that yeah. I don't mm -hmm. By the time I get to my baby, is already beaten. Mm. Just to carry him and go and sleep. She your sister? No, she's not my sister. She's my friend, but she's like a sister to me. Why will you allow her to be doing that kind of hard job? From my findings, she did an operation not long ago. And headwise, she's not supposed to be doing any hard work now. It's very dangerous. Doctor, I told her several times, but she would not listen to me. Eh? Please, is she going to be all right? She'll be fine, but don't allow her to do any hard work till the next 10 months. Doctor, I will do as you have instructed. Hey, Doctor Bato, I hope she will be all right. Don't worry, she'll be okay. Excuse me. Okay. Hi. Go, ma. Hey, I keep telling you, don't follow me. Hard work, you will not listen. Now see where your stubbornness has landed you. Hi. Go, let nothing happen to her. Madam, you're fine now. As a matter of fact, you've been discharged. But I must warn you, do not do any hard work anymore. If you love your life, unless you'll be hospitalized again. Wow. Okay. Do you hear what I said? Yes, yes, doctor. Are you sure? I, I heard you. Excuse me. All right, thank you. Thank you thank so you much, doctor. doctor. God bless you. To what she said. I hope you listen to what the doctor How has told you. I listen to what the doctor has said. 
No, how can I listen? How can I afford not to work? How do I feed? Who will help me take care of my child? Ha. That one is very difficult. Too. Now that I've been discharged, how do I even pay for my hospital bills? Your friend Agatha has taken care of the bills already. I'm telling you. Agatha. Agatha, your friend. Agatha paid my bills. She paid your bills. She's a very nice lady. Very nice. <gasps> I didn't expect it at all. Oh my God. Thank God. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank God. Hey, Agatha, God bless you for me. Oh. God bless you. Hey. <laughs> Someone brought a report to the palace that your daughter went to Amafo with other artisans and uh, at, at, at the end she fainted and uh, was rushed to hospital. Are you aware of that? Yes, Your Majesty, what you heard is true. But Your Majesty, I have tried all my best to take care of my daughter, but she refused to give me attention. Eh? Your Majesty, I, I don't know. My daughter is very stubborn. I don't know what is wrong with her. Do you know that I sent my, my wife to her house with the cash of 200,000 naira? She rejected the money. I then had the God to walk into my house with the money and threw the money on me. With the serious warning that uh, she doesn't want to have anything to do with, uh, 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 with, with me, Opego, her father, in her life again. Uh, well, uh, there's nothing I can do again. So I have to, I have to stop my phone. Very well then. I want to ask you, if you are in her shoes, will you gladly accept that? No, I'm asking you. You are just lucky that uh, she didn't break your head. Huh? Your Majesty, you said that she should have broken my head. It's all right. Well, I don't blame you people because you don't know how much they sell cake in the market. Will you shut up? You deserve more than what you're getting now. Listen to me. I have told you this before and I'm still telling you now. If anything happens to your daughter and her son, I will not mind that she is your daughter. I will deal with you severely. Now, go in search of that girl and make sure that herself and her son are well fed until her husband returns from wherever you, you sent him to. I hope I made myself clear. Your Majesty, I have heard you. Like I said, you know my daughter is a very stubborn person. But no, I will try. I'm already on my way. Probably. I will try. But I will not kill myself because of Ugoma. Ugoma, I'm worried. Over what? Now that the doctor has asked you to stop these menial jobs you're doing, what are your next plans? What do you intend to do? Mm. I'll be trying. 
I'll be trying. Little by little. I don't understand. You want to try what? Uh -uh. Work, of course. So you think I'll just fold my hands and sit down because the doctor says I'm not fit medically to work? Who is going to feed me? Oh, you want me and my child to die of hunger and starvation because my health is, is, is threatening me? I'm not going to fold my hands and sit down like that, oh. Because nobody will feed me, my dear. I have to work no matter what. I will try. Small, Mini, small. Wait, meaning you want to go back to the work? After everything that happened to you, your health condition, I am not going to let that happen. Ugoma, what is wrong with you? Why can't you go back to your father and let him help you? Forget about the past. What has happened has happened. Eh? At least let him help you until your husband comes back from prison. Oh, Are Gine you serious? Ginika, did I just hear you say past? No, 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 no. What is past about my condition? Look, I, I would rather die. I would rather die of hunger and starvation than collect one dime from that man. He's the reason for my predicament. So what is past about it? Good day. Huh? Good day. Okay. What can I what can I do for you? His Majesty wants to see you at the palace today. His Majesty wants to see me. Um, what did I do? Is there a problem? I wouldn't know. I'm only a messenger. Um, in, in that case, tell His Majesty that I'll come to the palace soon. Okay. I guess that should be all. Okay. I'll take my leave now. Thank you. This one, His Majesty, wants to see you. I hope there's no problem. I don't think it's a problem. Mm -hmm. mm. If there was a problem, His Majesty would have asked him to drag me to the palace. You have a point. But this is like an invitation now. Yes. Like at at my time. Yes. I don't and think it was it's very a, calm. I don't think it's a problem. It's not a problem. Ah, yeah, better not be. I just pray something good. Something okay. good at least that will make you to stop doing these mini jobs you're doing. Eh? I just hope it's something that will benefit you. And you stop telling me to collect money from my father. Stop giving me that advice. That is wrong advice. The wicked man that put me in this situation and condition. That's why you want to die, kill yourself, carrying blood, I will doing not mini die. jobs. I feel when stronger. You, know you have a baby with your health. I will not let you do that. I feel stronger now. Sopuru is my love. My love for him is better for us. Yes, Papa. What I have is genuine love for my husband. Yes, Papa. Oh, my father, no mamma, yes, yes, in the Thank God. I'm strong. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome. Where are you going to dress like this? Hey, I'm, I'm just rushing to the palace to come back. Yesterday, the Igwe sent one of the palace guards to invite me. But I couldn't make it yesterday because I wasn't feeling so well. Today, now I said, oh, since I feel better, let me just use the strength and rush to the palace to know why he's calling me. Guma, wait. Igwe sent for you. 
I hope all is well. Mm. I don't think it's a problem. I think it's a problem. I mean, if there was a problem, don't you think you would have dragged me out since yesterday? But the invitation was yesterday and I'm still here and nobody has, you know, come to harass me. I don't think it's a problem. Anyways, I'm just going to find out. Okay, if you say so. Where is your child? He's inside sleeping. Okay. Are you leaving today? No! I've okay. come to stay with you. Hey! Three days. Only three days. Three days. Hmm? Welcome. Thank <laughs> you, my dear. Hi, Ugumi. I'm happy. Please. Thank God. Look at you. Ugo! My daughter, I heard that you collapsed at the building site and uh, was rushed to the hospital. Is that true? Yes, Your Majesty. Uh, so, how are you doing now? I'm better today. I, I didn't make it yesterday because I wasn't feeling too strong. That's why I, I came today. But oh, I'm okay. a lot better. Save your breath. Um, your father told me that uh, he sent your mother to your house uh, with a sum of uh, 200,000 Naira. But he refused the money. Is that true? Yes, Your Majesty. I did. I refuse the money because I do not want to collect any money from that man. I don't understand the rationale behind him giving me that money. Knowing fully well that he's the reason my husband is in prison. I did everything humanly possible to beg my father. I crawled, I cried, I pleaded. All to no avail. Remember I came to you and you also spoke to him on my behalf, but he never listened. Now that my husband is in prison, he's trying to give me money. There's no way I can collect that kind of money from him. I would rather die. I'd rather go hungry than to collect money from my father. I'm uh, sorry, but that's why I didn't collect it's it. It's okay. Um, I understand your pain. But I do not want you to continue as an artisan for your health's sake. But I don't have a choice. If I do not, I'll go hungry. I will not be able to even take care of my child. I won't be able to buy the basics. Oh, it's okay. I, 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 I know. I will, I, I will take care of that. Um. Oh, take. Just Your Majesty. Take. Just take. Your Majesty. Oh, wait. Uh, that is uh, some of uh, 50,000 Naira for your upkeep. Uh, use it judiciously. Uh, and um, from today, henceforth, if there is anything you need, uh, call me. Your Majesty. You mean you're giving me 50,000 Naira? Oh, that's nothing. It's nothing. So, you... You mean I can, I can go with all of this? <laughs> um, just to take care of yourself and your child, that's all. Uh, and please, always remember, when you need anything, come to the palace. Stand up. Don't kneel. Oh. Your Majesty, God uh, bless you. Okay. God bless you, Your Majesty. Uh, God bless you. Uh, I'm so grateful to you. God will bless you. God will bless you. God in uh, heaven will shower his blessings upon you. Your pockets will never go dry, Your Majesty. My God in heaven will replenish your pockets. God uh, bless you. Uh, it's God okay. Bless you, uh, uh, it's, it's nothing. <sighs> oh, quietly stand up and go home. I can't believe this. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my God. I'm shaking. Go home. Your Majesty, thank you. 
You, you, you mean I can go now? Go home uh, and please take care of your child. God bless you. Your Majesty, God bless you. Hey! <sighs> At least now you can rest. I told you that Ugoma is not that type of person. But you wouldn't listen. Just look at the way you went and just embarrass yourself. Ay. See, uh, uh, Kenne, the, the, the challenge is not even all these things you're saying. When I went to the house, I was bragging. Like, uh, I, I was even ready to embarrass her so that she would give me all the money I've been giving her if she, she, she said say no. But she surprised me. She went inside, bought out every penny with paper, where she wrote dates and time, and gave, and gave me all the money. The kind she will catch me, I don't even feel cocoa there. My legs, we are, we, we are pinned to that floor. You see, uh, Obona, sometimes you amaze me. Honestly. I know how many times your sister and your mother came to me. That they were asking you to give them money just for food. You couldn't even give them anything. All you know is to go about rubbishing your money on your best friend's wife. What is your problem? You know, Shame on you. Do you know you're a very bad friend? You're a disgrace. You're a, you're a bad friend with a black heart and a black spirit. Okay. With a black face. That is what, what you are. I, I, I know your problem. You're just jealous. So it is because I had to come and talk to you as a friend. And I told you what happened between me and Ugoma. That, that is why you have the audacity. That's why you have the right. You are looking at me in the eye uh, telling me rubbish. Is it your, is it your, your mother? Is it your sister? Obona. Are they your sisters? I will come your, your insult in my house. If I Obona. see you, ta, which, which house? This is Hong Kong. This is your house. Eh? Begin to leave my ta, house. Come on, get out. Hong Kong. Obona, I say leave my house. Leave, leave Hong Kong. Oh, Hong Kong. You call it Hong Kong. Can you be, beat me? Obona, can you even, even mold even one block? Eh? A structure that even called your own. Just I one have block. an empty plot. I will build upstairs. Look I will not you. be without company. You are not ashamed of yourself. You hole. Rubbishing your money have on you a woman. Nice? Have My you friend, get nice? out. Don't. At least I'm able to put this on company and put something. I'll come but you, even you one have... block, you can't even mold. I have empty plots. All you, you know is going plots. about pursuing a married you woman. You, 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 one day you see what you've done to yourself. Just relax. Hey, Auntie. Auntie O! Drop it here. Auntie! Ha! Hey, whoa. Ah. Auntie, take. Ah, ah. You, you give me change, oh? I don't get change. Ha! Now, ah, wow. Okay, take it, try. Thank you. Thank you. Auntie. Who owns <laughs> all this? Auntie. It's me, oh! Huh? Hmm, auntie, it's me. How? <laughs> it's the Igwe. Oh. The Igwe decided to embarrass me today. Hey! Auntie, I got to the palace. Auntie, wait now, listen to the story first. I went to the palace. The Igwe said, eh, first of all, he pitied me. He said, oh, he's very sorry for what happened to me, oh. I mean, what happened to me at the, you know, at, at work. I said, okay. From there, he said, wait, oh. Why did you refuse the money your father gave you? I explained to him. I gave him my reasons. He said, yes, so that he understands. He understands with me. Afterwards, the Igwe landed me 50,000 Naira. 50,000 what? 50,000 Naira. Hey, God. Ugoma. Auntie, the Igwe gave me 50,000 Naira to go and buy food stuff. <laughs> he also added that he doesn't want me to ever do those menial jobs again. That if he catches me, he's not going to be happy with me. In fact, hey, the Igwe said, if I need anything, uh, I should run to the palace. That the palace gate is open for me anytime. So I quickly left there. Maza Maza, I ran to the market to buy these foodstuffs. You know why? Because there's no single food in the house. In fact, when you came, I was like, hey, my heart was cutting. I said, hey, what is auntie going to eat? Oh, because <laughs> I have eaten everything I have in the kitchen. But look at me now. No, look at me. He said from now till my husband comes out of prison that he will take care of me and my child. Will I finish 50,000 naira food before my husband comes out? For where? Hey! hey! Plus, I have the license to go back. He said, when I finish this, I should come back. If I need anything, I should come back. So, Auntie, see. Hey! <laughs> the Lord has smiled on me. Oh. Go back. Mm -hmm. go back. Auntie, let's go inside. Go Help me carry this thing. Let's go inside. Go. 
God. <laughs> Simeo. May God bless you. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. May God increase you. Amen. May God. Ah! <laughs> Igwe, you will look at me. Look at me. Only yesterday I was crying over food in my kitchen. When I checked everything, I was out of almost everything. I said, hey! hey! See you. But look at me today. Okwego! Good for him. Good for him. Shame. <laughs> shame. Shame. Shame on him. Shame on him. He thinks I will go hungry. My God is not sleeping. Look at me now. Hey! You carry this one. Hey! And see, easy, easy. No, I will manage. I can carry this one. Hey! Hey, what? Bring them, bring them. Hey! Shame, hunger, shame on to you. Um, I've written um, biscuits, different types, four cartons, um, noodles, four cartons of noodles, beverages, different types of beverages. Um, Mama, who is that? Let him come first. Good day, all. Good day. Welcome, my son. I guess I'm in love with I'm looking for Agatha and Sofa. Um, oh, Agatha and Sofa. Um. They're good. I'm from the Korea service. I have some parcel for you. Yeah. Parcel quoi? From who? Well, I don't know. I think it's from abroad. Here. Yeah. Abroad? Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah. Mama, who know me that will send me message I from don't abroad? Know. Who would have sent ah, ah. me? Wait, let me let, wait, let me find out. But Mama, hmm? it's from Bola Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, Mama, wait, what wait, wait. Mama, wait, let me finish. Wait, wait, wait. Mama, wait, let me finish. Wait, wait. Mama, he said he sent us money. He's fine, he sent us money. Wait, wait. Money, wait. Yes, sir, yes. I said, my name is Johnson. I'm a building contractor. Your son, Onyema, sent me to you and your daughter. So you show me the owners of those lands that he discussed with you. So you can discuss with them. Then he will send me money to go and buy them. And he will also send me the building plans. So I can start work immediately. Immediately? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> um, my son. Yes, Mama. You're welcome again. Thank you, Ma. My son, Onyema, has called us already and told us that you are going to come. So my son, it is not a surprise that you are here. Mm? Welcome. Uh, but uh, my, don't be offended. Contractor, right? Yes. Mm. Please, don't be offended. No problem. What kind of a house did my son, Onyema, ask you? to build for him. <laughs> to be frank with you, Mama, I don't know. I've not seen the building plans, like the house plan, I've not seen it. But from the way your son was talking, 
I think he wants to build a big house hey! and a fine house. Hey! Big house! Yeah. Hey! So, oh, Onyema, my son, now has that kind of money yes. to build my tea house. The moment, what are you saying? I think it's me. I knew already that my brother was going to be rich. I, I knew it. I knew it. I can't wait for my brother to come back to this country to come and shut that away with my tweets for me money. I go Igbo money. <laughs> Uh, Mama. Hey, Mama. So, Mama. So, when can we go and see the owners of those lands so that we can negotiate with them? Because he wants me to start building instantly, immediately, no time. Hey, hey. Now, if you want us to go right away, eh? I think what I'm wearing, eh? <laughs> can suit the movement. Uh -huh. We can go now. We can go, eh? Then what are we waiting for? Eh? We can go immediately now. Oh, no. Yes. Hey, Mama. <laughs> Mama. Are you going with us or you want to go to the shop? Shop, what? Oh, chop and wait, Mama, I'm going with you. Let me lock the door. Hey! hey. Stop. <laughs> Mama, you please don't pass it. Hold on. hospital after that. I was in the hospital for two days and afterwards I was discharged. But the doctor warned me that I'm no longer fit to do any hard work. That's a matter of urgency. I have to stop doing menial jobs, going up and down the stairs, carrying blocks and all of that, except I just want to kill myself. Well, I was really confused because <laughs> that has been my only source and hope. That has been the only thing that brings money into my hand. That's how I've been able to take care of myself and my child so far. So asking me to quit was like, where do I go from here? Even my friend Ginika came around and was also advising me to listen to the doctor. I was in the midst of an argument with her, argument over working or continuing working and not, because I told her that no matter what, I still have to find a way of doing these jobs, even if it's little, little. It might not be as, you know, as much as I used to, but the little I can, I'll still have to be doing this 
chores so as to get feeding money. That was when the Igwe sent one of his palace guards to me. In fact, he came in while I was still um, arguing with my friend Genika about not working and working and said the Igwe wanted to see me. At first, I thought there was a problem because I wasn't still strong enough. I couldn't go to the palace that day. The next day, I went. The Igwe listened to my story. He pitied my condition. And then he said, henceforth, he doesn't want me to work or do many other jobs or any form of hard work anymore. That if I need anything for myself and my baby until my husband comes back from prison, that he is more than willing to help me. <laughs> That's how the Igwe gave me 50,000 Naira. <laughs> the first 50,000 Naira. It was like a shock. <laughs> Ever since then, it has been the Igwe. God has used him to keep me away from hunger, starvation. Despite the fact that I'm not going to sites to work, I have not been lacking food though. And my baby has been getting the basic supplies so far. That is my story. So, My father-in-law, your own father, sends you to this misery after sending me to prison. Your own father. What? It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter. Whatever he must have done. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me anymore because after all, my husband is here with me. He's alive. <laughs> and that is all that matters to me right now. I know what I saw in that prison. I saw things nobody would imagine. But you see, thank God I didn't die. Thank God I came back. I came back healthy. My strength was you and our child. Two of you kept me going. Beyond the hardship in that prison, I always said I must, I must make it through to get to my family. And you're here. And that is all that matters. Despite all you went through while you were in prison and all that I went through here waiting for you, you're here, alive. And I am too. And our baby. Who we'll survived this? I have never been in doubt. You must survive <laughs> this. Thank God. I have never been in doubt. Not for one day. So, what of my friend? What, what, what of Obuna? Didn't he say anything? I mean, what do he should have said something? Obuna should have said something. He should have done something. I believe I mean, my, my friend should have had an opinion in this. Didn't he come through for you? <laughs> Obuna. Ah. My love. Yes. This is not the time. Huh? Mm. No, 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 is that a problem? Because I, I know Obuna. Obuna is my guy. You know, Obuna, Obuna would definitely stand in for me. I know, but this is not the time. Don't worry. Um, for now, 
I need you to clean up, clean up nicely. I mean, like all of this, and go to the palace to thank the Igwe. The Igwe has been amazing. He's been awesome. God has used him to take care of your family. You need to thank him. Then when you come back, we have all night, all day, all night. In fact, we have to forever to talk about five years. Five years? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was in prison for five years. It doesn't matter anymore. Your father sent me to prison for it's five okay. years. It doesn't matter anymore. Five years. It doesn't matter. I'm back. I know. It is well. Still like a dream. It is well. Uh, Igwe, may you live long. Uh, I actually came to thank you for everything you have been doing for my wife and my child. Uh, as soon as I came back from prison, I was told everything. And I just want to say, may God keep you. May God keep you for us. May nothing evil befall you. You will live long, Igwe, because you're a good man. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's okay. Save thank your you. breath. Um, you don't need to thank me as such. Every member of this kingdom is my child. Um, well, you're welcome home. Thank you. Um, uh, I tried my best to talk to your father-in-law. Uh, before I knew it, uh, you went to jail without my knowledge. But uh, that is, by the way, now that you are back, um, you must um, see it as experience. Hmm? Thank you, Igwe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, one more thing, uh, like I said, uh, it's very important that you forgive him totally. Your father-in-law, I mean, uh, and try to fix yourself somewhere to cushion the effect of what your wife went through when you were in prison. It's very important. Yes, sir. Uh, Igwe, I've heard you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Igwe. Thank um, you. Uh, I have to be on my way now. Oh, thank okay. you. Before you, you do that, um, it is normal that uh -uh. now that you are back, you would need something to augment. Hey. Uh, you just uh, hey. manage this. Igwe again? No, it's nothing. Hey, thank you, Igwe. Thank you so much. I'm grateful, Igwe. I'm so no, grateful. No, 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 thank no, no, you. I'm no, grateful. No, no, no. Thank you. May God keep you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You don't know what you have done for me now. Thank you. I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Igwe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's nothing. Thank you. I'll be coming from time to time, Igwe. Thank you. I'm grateful. Thank you. May you live long, Igwe. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hi. Now, your wife told me that you rushed to see the Igwe. Yes, so I went to see the Igwe, and the Igwe, you know, ah, Igwe is a very nice man, very nice man. I tell you, very nice man. Hi. Yes, yes, and again, um, I need to thank you. And my wife told me everything of how you have been helping her, how you have been, been everything you've been doing for her, you know. Oh, thank you so go. much. Thank you. We hey. God that will repay you. See, you don't have to worry, eh? You don't have to thank me. Ugoma, your wife is my best friend. Oh, okay. If I don't do it for her, who will do it for her? I know. Eh? Like I am, we both used to say, a friend in need is a friend, friend in need. Yes, yeah, so you don't have to thank no, me. No, but I have to thank you at the same time. I have to thank you. I mean, it's not easy to find good people these days. Thank you so much. It's thank okay. you. Thank it's you. It's okay. Eh? You're welcome. 
come. Hey, but I will still host you. I have to repay you this favor. No, I have to. I have to you, know? <laughs> you don't have no, to. No, no, no. God will definitely place me in a place where I can repay you this favor. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please. Thank you so much. Thank There's you. no problem. Uh, I actually have to be on my way. Okay. Uh, I have certain things I have to tidy up. Uh, okay. uh, but please come back again. Come okay. back. Let me I'll, host you properly. Okay. Yeah. There's no problem. All right. Chai. God bless you. I'm so happy God to see you. you. Hey. Bye bye. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Ah, this one you dress like this. Hey, where are you going to? Well, I'm going to Sopro's house. Sopro? Which Sopro? Which one? Ugonna, are you telling me you are not aware that Sopra and friend is back from prison? Hey! Are you serious? When? How? So you're asking me because you know what you did. Now tell me, Ugonna, now that he's back, how will you face him? Tell me. I, I, I thought you have forgotten about this thing now. Eh? It was intentional. It was... You are a fool. You are a very big fool. Am I uh, Soporo or his wife that you were toasting? No, tell me. Ogonna, let me ask you a question. What if Ogonna tells the husband what you did when he was not around? What will you tell him? I'm asking you. See, uh, see. Let me tell you something. I can take any other thing you are telling me here. But mm, I swear, if you call me a fool again, okay. if you call me a fool one more time, I'm going to here. What is it, Seth? Okay. Eh? So if you have, 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 have uh, apologized to you, so you are still uh, calling me a fool. Don't try it again. It's not supposed to be planning on how to help each other in, in this thing. You that is going there, if, if you get there, help me. I am. I am. I, I, I'm your friend. Help me find out if uh, if 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 Sopro's uh, wife uh, has told Sopro uh, anything. Then you come and tell me. I don't know how to come meet him. Simple. You are calling me fool. Good. I heard you. Clap for yourself. Are you going with me or not? No, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, 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 what if I go now and uh, um, uh, okay. Sopro's wife has told Sopro? Will Sopro break my head? Why are you black and uh, uh, and wicked at the same time? My son, everything you said here is true. But I want you to know one thing. God created everybody in this world and gave them their characters and their own lives to live. My husband has chosen his own way of life, which is bad. Too bad. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. And no sensible and reasonable human being emulates what is bad. It takes a fool to emulate that. So please, I am here to beg you to forgive him. Mama, are you in any way trying to suggest that my husband should forgive your husband because I am not understanding? Your father? No, 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 no. Not anymore. He is not my father. Do not make that mistake. Because I disowned him the very day he sent my husband to jail. <laughs> and let me tell you, don't even bother to come here and waste your time because my husband and I will never forgive him. If that's what you're thinking. I want to ask you a question. And please, 
Just search your heart for the right answers. Is it a crime to be poor? Is it a crime to be poor? Even if I was born poor, at least I worked hard to rise to the top to be rich. I was rich. I had money. Even for the unfortunate incidents that happened that collapsed my business, crippled my business, made me descend to riding my own in-law's keke, your husband's keke. Would he have sent me to jail? Mama, what crime did I commit? What crime did I commit by marrying your daughter? What crime? What crime did I commit by marrying this girl? Who happens to be your husband's daughter? What crime? See, Mama. As for me, I have gone to jail. I know what I saw in that prison. I know. I know the unimaginable things that were done to me in that prison. So I have nothing to say to you or your husband, please. I have nothing to say. Please, my son, please. Mama, you know my husband just came back from prison. Hmm? He's very tired. He needs a lot of concentration. Okay? At least he needs five years to rest. So don't come here disturbing our peace again. We need at least five years to recover. I went to see our in-law. Which our in-law? How many in-laws do you have? Our daughter's husband, of course. Who is your daughter's husband? I went to see Soporo, our in-law. He is back from prison. Soporo? Back from S prison? How come? Has he completed his uh, 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 jail terms? Or does it mean... So, your plan is for him to stay there till eternity. And now, why are you so wicked and so me? And Okwego, why? Anyway, now that he has gone there and come back, I'm very sure that he must have learned his lesson. Yes, he has learned that his father-in-law is so wicked and heartless. But let me tell you, you are not their God. And you don't know tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Yes. Tomorrow. That boy so has no tomorrow. Because he is not doing any business. He cannot even contest anything in the government. Not even cancel or uh, 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 provost in his own life. Because he is an ex-convict. He cannot contest for anything. So you knew all this, yet you sent him to prison. So what will be the fate of our daughter? Well, whenever she's tired of staying there, she can come back to this house. After all, there are many men looking for a good wife to marry, and you know our daughter is every man's dream. Simple. You are right. Our daughter is a good girl. She's every man's dream. And that is the more reason she can never leave supper for any man. Yes, because she knows what she wants. 
I'm with torture. And let me tell you, God will surely bless them. God will surely see them through in one way or the other, whether you like it or not. Beatrice, don't tell me you are proud to have uh, an ex convict as your in law. Ole Jegoronga, you are proud to have Sopro, ex convict, as an in law. Son in law. Ha! Una ya for them. A so common. Ex convict. My son in law. Hey, hey so true, my, good my guy, how oh, no. the? Ah, I see your tummy, this guy. I'm happy for you. Well, we thank God, oh, we thank hey. God, we thank God, we thank God. God. Ah, all the time, oh, all the time, my brother, all the time. But so poor, eh? Uh, you see that your father-in-law is a very wicked man. Uh, uh, please, 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 hey. please, please. Can I please don't spoil my mood now? Don't spoil my mood. You see that man? Don't just spoil my mood by calling his name, please. He has done his worst now. Am I dead? I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm out. Eh? Yeah. Is not. Is he God? He's not God now. Yeah. Yeah. But God will judge him. God must man. help me judge him. A There's man. no how God will judge that man for me. Yes. It's not possible that God will not judge him. But just, just leave him. I've left him to God. There's no problem. Yes. Uh, meanwhile, how far now, my guy? What's going on with our guy now, Obuna? Yeah. What's going on? I mean, uh, uh, what's going on? Uh, he hasn't seen me. I've not seen him since I came back. Uh, uh, hasn't he heard I'm back? Or has he relocated from this village? Because I don't understand. You know, I, I even called him with my wife's phone. Uh, you know, uh, he didn't pick up. So what's happening? So, you don't understand. Obona is away you're back because I told him. But he won't come. Obona is away I'm back? Yes. He's away I'm back? Yes. Ah! Wait, what? no, 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 no. Don't tell me to forget Obona. It's not possible now. Obona is my guy now. He's our guy now. No, 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 no. Ah, Ogunna. Yes. Because, because I know he didn't come to see me. I, you know, I understood because they transferred me to the north now. You understand me? Uh -huh. But I understood maybe because of distance or something, but he didn't come there. So, ah, and, ah, wait, oh. I, I asked my wife the same question about Ogunna, you know, before using her phone to call him and after he didn't pick. You know, I asked her again, she just, you know, she ignored me. You know, she just gave me one kind of attitude and, and left. And every time I ask her, she gives me the same attitude. Sopro, I'll be very glad you forget about Obuna and go on with your life. Please, what is going on? What is going on? Please, what's going on with Obuna? What's, what's really happening? Is there something I don't know? Sopro, trust me, nothing. Then tell me something now. Or better see you ask him when you see him. I'm going somewhere. See you later. I'm happy for you. Sopporo! You don't look happy. What worries you? Of course I'm not happy. I mean, even though I fight it, it's as if... It's as if... All hope is lost, you know? No, come on. Don't talk like that. All hope is not lost. In fact, all hope cannot be lost. Because you are alive. Come. I've been thinking of something. What is it? You know, since I came back from prison, all I do is sleep, eat, if there's food. 
basically do nothing, sleep again. That's been my rotation. You know, I think I've rested enough. It's time for me to you know, go out there and look for something to do to take care of my family. It's not a bad idea. It's, it's good. So what are you looking at? Well, since I came back from prison, I've seen there's been a lot of development around. Yes. You know, new houses are springing up. Um, they are currently working on the roads. You know, mm -hmm. so, um, you know, I'll just go seek for one job, you know, maybe as a laborer. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll seek for that to be a laborer. You know, at least let something be coming in because <laughs> the money you will give me. To, to soon finish, you know. So we've been managing it. I just need to go out there and get something. Yeah. My love, but you know that job is very stressful, though. It's very stressful. Mm -hmm. Every work is stressful. <laughs> Every work is stressful. You're talking about stressful. Didn't you do the job when I was in prison? <sighs> it's stressful. Didn't you do the stressful work when I was in prison? And that was because. I didn't have a choice on how to feed them. Uh, but right now, do we have a choice? Do we? It's hard for us to feed now. Uh, let's, let's face it, we have been managing. The money Igwe gave me, we have been managing it. Because we don't want it to finish. But one day, it will finish. So I have to go out there and work. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. Hmm. Um, so... Maybe I can join so that no, the two no, of us can no, team up. No, no, no. What, what kind of thing is this? This one? Why, why are you giving me two thousand? And you're giving. Oga, okay, Oga, okay. wait, wait, calm down. Huh? See, tomorrow, try and come early tomorrow because today you, you guys came late. See that your friend, that one, yeah? What they, that one? Tomorrow you guys should come early because if you don't come early and do your work properly, eh? Yeah? I will change you guys. Maybe I will even bring more workers to this site. Just try. You, you're a good worker. Thank I you, like sir. your strength. I like thank, your spirit. Thank you, sir. Thank Keep you, it sir. up, eh? Thank you, sir. All right. I'll come early tomorrow. All right. Sir. All right. See thank you. you See you guys. Guy Alpha, where are you? Where are you? Something you want to buy since. I don't, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like the way you do things. I don't like the way you do things. You're delaying too much. I overheard the contractor making call that he asked his sister to withdraw 500 and something thousand and keep her home. Where are you? Let's go and get this money and sharp. Guys, stop wasting time. Come and sharp. Let's, let's, let's run this whole thing. You're coming. Okay, okay. I want three of us to go and run this thing. I don't, I don't want any delay. I don't know. Something you want to get since, since. I bet turn up, turn up, sharp, sharp early. Turn up, turn up. No problem. Yeah. Eh. Titus. Eh. Titus, what's going on now? Where's Odili? Uh, Odili. He said he, he went to go and buy something. To go and buy what, Wano? Uh, ah, see, 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 this work is for three of us now. Why would you leave only me here? Please, uh, come, come, come. Uh, which one is, please, I, mean, I don't want to enjoy this kind of thing. This work is for three of us now. Uh, hello, sir. I greet you, sir. Ah, uh, okay, don't worry. I have two strong friends. They are very, very strong and hard working. We will handle it. We can do it. Please don't give it to someone else. We will do it. I promise. We will do it very well. We specialize in things like this. Yes, sir. Ah. Okay, with this amount you just mentioned there, we are doing it, sir. Okay, sir. You want us to come tonight? Okay. We will. Thank you so much, sir. Alright. Oh, boy. You don't work, who? G, what's up now? Nah, waiting for the conclusion. Ah, didn't you hear me on the phone talking, discussing with him? He just said that he will pay us 20,000 naira a day to do the job. That's a very huge amount of money. He even said we should come to see him tonight. So, my friend, if you're going to see the contractor with us, after that, then you can go home. 20,000? Yes, now. Nah. Ah, ah, ah. He said we should come this night. Yes, now. Nah. See, a guy, uh, I will do this job, no problem. But um, and the thing is that um, I will do the job, but two of you have to go. 
You understand? Because me, I can't go home late. My wife will be angry. Bia, bia, this guy, what is even wrong with you? What is actually your problem? Uh -uh. We're here talking about good business that will fetch us good amount of money. You're, 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 you're talking about your wife, your wife. You see, you, see, you see the problem I have with you? I say leave this guy. You're, you're telling him that you want to help him. You want to assist him. Don't worry. You know, these married couples. Um, my guy, what we're talking about here is business. So just imagine what 20,000 Naira will do for you every day. And the job is going to last for one year. So 20,000 Naira every day to one year. One year? Yes, now. Nah. One year? You see, so I really want you to do this with us. Do you understand? I need you to do this with us. Like I told you before, I want to help you. If not the love I have for you, I would have contacted someone else to do this no, job. No, well, no because problem. I want to help you. I know, no problem. No, say no more now. Nah. No problem. Uh, no problem. One year. No yes, now. Nah. No problem. Uh, no problem. We'll go. We'll go. No Good. problem. No problem. So. Be coming down. You two, calm down now. Nah. Yeah. You, two, you two, the verse. Calm down now. Nah. It's sorted out, guy. Uh, uh, Let's just find some place. Yeah. Let's just find one place and relax and take some chilled beer while we wait for the night. One yeah. more. Yes, now. Nah. Yeah, one book. Yeah, I'm one book for the road yeah, now. But you will pay. Oh. <laughs> I'll yeah. take care of it. You You're my friend, now. Nah. Yeah, my guy. Uh, now my now, now people where they work with. Uh, so 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 that was an ordinary contact say uh, uh, we'll go one business. Uh, next thing uh, they don't say uh, 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 they know where my wife stays. If I don't follow them, go the business. So they will kill my wife, kill my kids. They deceive me. They deceive me. I said na 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 labor business when they go do. Next thing we reach there, it could be robbery. I I I shock as that was gonna shoot the madam. Ah, uh, what can you madam go 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 hospital as they run? I don't run. I don't run, okay? You know I, I, I don't run. Okay. I don't run. Na, 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 na. When uh, 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 Madame go die, I don't know as I go explain. Now nah, come up for the house. Uh, when I go they blow whistle. Uh, then, 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 so, nah, so, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Sorry, sir. I tell you the truth. I swear. I swear, sir. I swear. 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 What is happening? Where could my husband be? Eh? This is already midnight. When he called me, he said he'll be back soon. He said he won't stay for long. What is keeping him? What kind of contract is he in search of? Eh? I mean, I don't understand though. I don't, I don't have strength for another problem. Or I don't have strength for another cry. Oh. Hey God, what is all this? God, God have mercy. Just bring him back safe. Happened. Where do I even start from? Hey. Good morning, madam. Good, good morning. Mm, are you Sapri's wife? Yes, I'm, I'm his wife. He's my husband. Where is he? What happened? Did you see him? Because I've been looking for him since last night. Where, 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 where is my husband? Yeah, madam, calm down. Children was involved in an unbroken case last night and they killed somebody in the process. Right now, he's at the police station. What nonsense are you talking about? How can you say that my husband was involved in a robbery case? Can you hear yourself? Yeah. Please, where's my husband? What, 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 what have you done to my husband? Madam, I didn't come here to exchange words with you. 
I only came here to tell that your husband is at the police station. So if you want to see him, go there. Hey! Came to the house last night, brother. They shot mama. They shot mama. They shot mama. Mama is dead. Mama is dead, brother. They made away with the five hundred thousand naira you gave to me to give to the contractor. Mama is dead. Mama is dead, brother. Yes! Yes! Yes, brother! Hello! 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 My brother has not taken his call again! My brother! My brother has not taken his call! My brother has not taken his call! Hey! I don't know what to do! Oh, come see you! Oh, come see you! Oh, come see you! Oh, come see me. My mother is not beginning to come. My mother is. I have to go. I know. Stop crying. Oh, come see you. Oh, yeah, no, stop. My mother is not beginning. My mother is not beginning. I know. My mother. Stop. 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 You know the difference between gunshot wound, budget wound, you know, court, sir. You know all these things. What happened is that the woman, when she was shot, Titus shot her, and then I was shocked. I went to the woman to help her to the hospital. So it's I think it's the blood on her body that, that stained me. I didn't shoot the woman when I ran out. I wanted, I wanted to take her to the hospital, sir. But but I, 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 as soon as I noticed things were bad, I, 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 I went out and then the vigilante caught me. You know the gang member? I've never killed him. Where life. can we find that person? Another person, sir. Like Where can we find them? Say the truth, sir. Like I said, I'll tell you, sir. Please, I am not a criminal. It's at the building site. That's where I met them. And. That's the only place we meet where we walk. That's it. But they blackmailed me or that they, they deceived me, sir. I'm not a criminal. You are a hardened criminal. A few years ago, you were brought into this station, same station, because of robbery case. And you are sentenced to jail. A few months ago, you came up from this place. Now, you are still here for the same robbery case and you are denying it. Sir, sir. You are a hardened criminal. Sir, Listen, sir. this time you are in for it. Sir. You are not going out from here. You are in here forever. Sir, you can't live here. Sir, please. I must make sure you said the truth. Sir, please, sir. Not, you can't escape. Please, sir. You will never I'm escape. I'm not a criminal. Sir. I will kill you because sir, of the truth. I'm not a criminal, sir. I'm not a criminal, sir. You had a criminal. I'm not, sir. I'm not. Oh, God. Stop. What you must say the truth. Sir, I'm not, I'm not a criminal. Say the truth. I'm not a criminal. Sir. Sir. My love. Please. Just 
Just do this for me. If anything happens to me, tell my son that his father loved him. Tell my son every single thing. Tell my son what his father went through before he died. You're going to come out of this and I... We're going to raise our son together. It's okay. My son. Please have a strong heart. That nothing will happen to you. I believe my daughter that you will come out of this alive. Why would we pretend? Mama, why are we going to pretend? Why are we going to pretend? This is a murder case. A case of armed robbery and murder. There's no way out. The people who shot that woman, the people who shot that woman are gone and I'm the only one answering this case. So there's nothing I can do when I'm gone. Get another man to love you as much as I love you. Get another man to be a father to our son. Sakura, you're not going anywhere. You're not. You're going to stay here with me. Nothing will happen to you. Please don't give up on me. Nothing is going to happen no, to you. Please. Don't give up on me. I beg of you, Sakura. <laughs> this is not the end of the road. I'm assuring you. Please. Your Majesty, it has happened. It has happened. When I was telling you that that boy is a criminal, nobody believed me. Which boy are you talking about? Sopo, that fool, that idiot that kept my daughter in his house with the name of marriage. So what has he done this time around? Your Majesty, Sopo was involved in a robbery case last night in Amwa for village. What? They even killed one woman. Even as I speak with you now, Sopo is at the police station. Even the police are planning to waste him. This is unbelievable. Sopro involved in armed robbery and he killed a woman to that effect. There must be a mistake somewhere. Your Majesty, there is nothing like a mistake anywhere. There is nothing like a mistake anywhere. That boy is a criminal. He is a thief. When I was shouting, when I was talking, when I was running around the whole community, telling everybody that that boy is a criminal, nobody believed me. Ichi Okwego, I said, if there is anything like that, there is mistake somewhere. I do not believe what you are saying. There's a mistake somewhere. There's a mistake somewhere, you say. Like I said, if you are that me, send one of your guys to the station and find out. Yes, um, hello DPO. Um, yeah, how, how are you doing? Uh, we are fine, thank you very much. Uh, and please, DPO, um, someone came to the palace not quite long ago and um, he said there was a, uh, an incident of a robbery at Amafo village last night. And uh, uh, one woman was killed to that effect. 
uh, again, there is this uh, uh, boy, Sopro by name, that was said to be involved. I don't. That it is true. Oh, but, um, uh, but, but please, DPO, uh, uh, I, I want you to do something. Uh, please, uh, I want you to investigate this matter thoroughly and get back to me. Uh, because I am sensing that there is mistake somewhere. That I know. Oh, please do. Uh, thank you very much. I will appreciate. When I was telling you that that fool, that idiot you called your husband, he said, You do not believe me. Now your eyes are clear. You see? Okay, go, what are you doing in my house? Huh? What are you doing in my house, Okay, go? What are you doing here? How dare you come in here and call my husband names? My husband is not a criminal. I am warning you. My husband is not a criminal and he will never be. You are acting as if you don't know that like you're the one responsible for all my problems. All the sufferings I've been going through. You are responsible for it. What are you doing here? Who called you? Did I ask for your help? Yeah. No, did I ask for your help, Okwego? Have you come here to mock me? Eh? What are you doing here? Ugoma. Okwego. Ugoma, are you mad? Okwego, I am not mad. So, you are still calling this house of a criminal your house? This is my house, eh? and my husband is not a criminal. Anyway, I am not here. For any hanky panky, I'm not here to exchange words with you. I'm coming to take you out of this place before police will come here and arrest you for a crime you did not commit. Did I ask for your help? Go in there, pack your things. I am taking you home. I am not going. This is my home. My husband's house is my home. And my marriage is for better, for worse. In sickness and in health. And for your information, my husband is not dead. I am not going with you. Yeah, your husband's house. Yes. This house of a criminal. Your husband's house. My husband is not a criminal. How am I even sure you're not the one that set him up? How am I sure? Because you can do anything. You are evil. Evil man. It's okay. Get out of my compound. I will go. Don't Get worry. Get out. Stop leaving. Comes, you will regret ever stepping your feet into this house. No, look at him. By that time, that time we used him. to attire you. We will kill you from look your at eyes. Him. Uh, Go and mind your business. Go and take care of your kekes. Okay. Useless man. Let me not see your legs here again. No? Oh, wicked okay. man. Wicked soul. Go and pack your things. Let me take care Please get out and go to your house. Go to your house and leave my compound. Okay. Stop making noise here. Wicked man. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. My God. God, you're looking at me, oh. God, you are looking at me. You are seeing me. God, you are seeing me. They are mocking me. You are seeing me. They are mocking me. If you like, don't do something. Oh. Don't do something. What are you doing here? Get out of my house. Get out of my house.
It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. So how did it happen? It happened on that day I went to the bank to withdraw money you sent to us um, because um, the contractor needed money for building materials. So I withdrew the money, I brought it home. So that night, ham robbers came. They collected the money. And they shot Mama. Mama is dead. They shot Mama. So those idiots, those animals killed our mother. They killed her and escaped. But I know not all of them escaped. Um, the vigilante caught one of them and took him to the police. He's at the police custody now. He's still there now. Let's go to the police station immediately. Okay. Lock up the door. This is the criminal. You have to take it easy with him. The police is doing their job. You're the criminal that killed my mother! Sir, I'm not a criminal. I'm not a criminal. I'm not. Young man, I want you to take it easy with him. I want you to calm down earlier. The police is doing their job. Calm down! I'm only a KK driver. That's it. I'm only a KK driver. Please. I only met those boys at the building site. I am not a criminal. God knows I have a good heart. God knows. Hey, brother, brother, wait, 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 wait. Um, what's your name? My name is Sopuru. I'm a KK driver. I've never killed before. I can't kill. I know the value of life. I can never kill. I can never. I'm not that kind of person. I'm different. I used to drive KK. Just try. Just try. Just try. Just try. Just try. Hey. Sopuru. Sopuru. Hey. Ross. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me lift you. Hold on. Hold on. Go the other way. Go the other way. Eh? Ross. Try. 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 Ross, easy, easy, eh? Easy, 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 easy. Enter inside. Stay inside there, get him, get him. Get what? What are you getting again? What is slippers? Hold him, oh, hold him. Hold him. Brother, 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 please, can I, can I see you outside? Brother, please, let me... You don't need... I, 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 I have to do this. Brother, brother, calm down. Calm down. I, I, I need to see you outside. Come. Brother, come. Let's go. Um, officer, please, um, um, don't be offended. I want to talk to my brother about something. Let's go. Not to hold you. Not to hold you. Brother, let's go. Come. Please hold you. Brother, I want to tell you something. Brother, um, there's a problem. Oh. There's a big problem. What kind of problem? That guy I saw inside there, uh -huh. he looks and sounds like the guy that picked you up that night when you had an accident. I I'm sure he's, he's the same guy they robbed his keke that night. I mean, 
I, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. But I heard him. I heard him that night. He was saying, um, Sop Room, why now? Sop Room, Sop Room. And right now, I heard him saying his name is Sop Room. Agatha. Brother? Are you sure? Brother, to be honest, I am not sure. But I am saying his complexion, his voice. I mean, I just, I'm just trying to put one and two together. I think I am not sure. I think he's the one. But for us to be very sure, let's go inside and find out if he's really the one. Agatha, please, I don't want you to put me in any kind of state of confusion. Just be too sure of what you just said. But I'm not very sure. But like I said, his color, his voice, everything. I mean, just, I don't know. I just had to, I'm trying to place one and two to know that if he's the one. I don't know. Let's go first. But uh, wait, wait, face, don't, don't be in the hurry. I said I am not sure, so don't just go there and make trouble or anything. Let's be sure. Officer, please excuse us. I want to have a word with him. I hope everything is okay. Uh, yes, officer. Okay, if you say so. But I must warn you. If you do anything stupid, I will put you right inside the cell. Have I made myself clear? for a living. And why did you join the arm robbery gang? I'm not a robber. I've never been a robber. Never. I've never even stolen anybody's money in my life. Like I said, my name is Sopuru. I was a rich man. I was doing well. In the electronics business. I had three shops in the main markets. I was doing so well. Money was never my issue. I had a fiance here whom I later married. She is my wife today. The very day I came to the village. Asking my wife's parents for a hand in marriage. And they agreed. Days after, I got a phone call from my boys in the market saying the market was burnt. And my three shops burnt as well. I went back and truly there was nothing. My shops were burnt down. And here I was, owing credit, owing people money, because I had bought goods on credit. I begged them to give me time. They refused. So I sold off every single thing I had in the city, including my car. Everything. Nothing left for me in the city. I came back to the village. My only confidence and hope was my wife. So I proceeded to still get married to her, even though her father refused and didn't like me. She got pregnant. We were broke. We were so broke that we didn't even have money to feed. We didn't even have money for our unborn baby. Then my wife came up with this suggestion that we should go plead with her father to give us one of his keke so I can be driving it 
and try and make ends meet. Reluctantly, he refused. But I had this keke. Through this keke, I was feeding my wife. I was feeding my family. Then this unfortunate day, while I was going back home, I saw this girl shouting on the road. Her brother was being knocked down. So, I, I stopped. I stopped. Helped him to the hospital. On our way to the hospital, and robbers attacked us. Robbers attacked us and, and took this cake away. Still, still, I, I, I still, I still took him to the hospital. Even after losing this cake. Then, next day, I told my in law the whole story. He didn't believe me. He said I was a criminal. He said I was a thief. That I sold this keke. And that was how I ended up in prison for five years. Five years I spent in prison without seeing my wife and my child. One month after coming back from prison, I told myself I needed to do something. Then I went in search of laborer's job at a building site. Fortunately, I got the job. That was where I met these boys. I was working with them. I don't know where they live. I know nothing about them. They said we had a business to do. It was a big business in line of, with what we do. I agreed. And they said we were going to meet the man that day. That fateful evening, on getting to see this man, there was nobody. They now told me that I should go and rob with them. I said, no, I will do no such thing. The next thing they told me that they, they knew where my wife was at the time. And one of their boys who killed my wife and my child. If I didn't follow them at that time. That was how I got into this whole mess. I never shot the woman. I never shot your mother. It's okay. It's okay. It's so, where is your wife? My wife, she's in the house with my child. Please, please, I beg you, don't do anything to her. Don't do anything to her. Please, she's innocent. She has suffered enough. Five years without me, please. Don't do anything. I'm not a criminal. I was a rich man. I don't know. So people look at my life now. Don't look at I'm not supposed to be here. I don't know why life is just like this for me now. I'm not a criminal. I feel. Please, I want you to soft pedal with that guy. I don't want anybody to hurt him. There is something I want to soft out. It's not I'm done with that. I, I, I don't understand you. That criminal killed your mother, remember? Sure. I know, I know. But um, I need time to sort out something. Um, yes, my brother is right. Please, be easy with him. Please. And what if my DPO orders me to transfer him to the headquarters? What will I tell him? Besides, he has to provide those gangs. Oh, don't worry, I'll see DPO and discuss that with you. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, I said so. Uh, meanwhile, uh, you can take this. Thank you. Buy drinks for yourself, okay? Thank you so much. It's okay. I will do exactly what you said. Yeah. It's okay. Rest assured. <laughs> All right, thank you, officer. Thank you. Okay. okay. <laughs>
Billy, you have to do something about that guy. He saved your life. Without him, you wouldn't be where you are today. Eh? Because of you, he went to prison. Because of you, Amrabas took his keke. Eh? Besides, he, he, he wasn't the one that killed Mama. He wasn't the one that killed Mama. The day the thing happened, he was even telling me, let's take Mama to the hospital, let's take Mama to the hospital, before Mama died in his harm. So, if I do what you're asking me to do now, who will I help the police to trace those animals, those criminals that killed our mother? Brother, please allow the police to do their job. They know how to handle criminals. Please, see reasons with me, I beg you. You're just trying to push me to, to, to have a rethink about this. Well, you need to... Uh, what, are, what are you doing here? I should be asking you that question. This is my compound. And how is your husband? Is he back? You mean you live here? Yes, this is my compound. Uh, my husband is the reason I'm here. I don't understand. What do I have to do with that? My husband is so poor. The man in police custody accused of, of killing your mother. But he's innocent. He's innocent. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. You mean Sopuru? The guy that owns the keke? The guy, Amrabah, stole his keke. He's your husband. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. But, but, but you told me the other time your husband traveled a long time ago. So what are you saying? I did. I, I know I told you that. But I told you that because I didn't want to bore you with the details. As at the time you asked after him, my husband was in prison. My husband was in prison for five years by my own father who gave him the keke that was stolen. On the night he was trying to help an accident victim. But my father didn't believe his story. And so he went to prison. Uh, he just came out and and then this. Um, but believe me, he's innocent. I know, I know, I know. It's fine, it's fine. Please, everything that she has said is the truth. Eh? She's a good woman. People, you people should forgive her. Don't worry, I believe you, I believe her. Uh, brother, please. Please, 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 please. You know his wife too. Yes, I, I know. No, no, stand up, no, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. She used to be our customer. A man you had to. But uh, we have to do something. You've, yes. you've read her yourself. Okay, madam, I have had you. I will think about it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. God My bless. husband is a good man. No? I know. He's a good man. No? He's okay. a good man. It's okay. I, I know, I know. He's I know. a good man. He's innocent. It's, it's okay. okay. It's, it's okay. okay. Yeah. It's okay. We, it's, okay. It's, not crazy. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. We'll, 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 we'll. Right? It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sopuru is my love. My love for him is better for us. No, no. I'm going to go to the house. Um, Your Majesty, I am very sorry that I disturbed your sleep. I asked you to summon this meeting for two or three reasons. No, uh, uh, you shouldn't uh, bother yourself. Uh, you are standing as if there is thunder in the sky. Just go ahead and tell us why you ask us to come to this circle. Thank you so much. Your Highness. First, I want to let everybody here know that um, I have fixed it for my mother's burial. That's the rest of peace. Thank you. Uh, her burial is there in two weeks' time, precisely 14th of next month. Secondly, I, I want to let you all know that um, those armed robbers have been caught by the police. Oh, good job. And uh, in an attempt to escape, they were shot dead by the police. Um, thirdly, um, Sopor, 
I want you to take a very closer look at my sister here and tell me if you can recognize her. Apart from that very night that you guys came to the house. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't think I recognize her. I don't, can't remember ever seeing her. You see your life? So, do you see your life? How can you recognize her? Maybe she's one of the, those girls you promised marriage and ran away. Now she has caught up with you. No, Julia is a deceiver. I beg your pardon, old man. Look at you. Look at you, you're just ranting, making noise. You're such a heartless, useless, wicked man. That is what you are. Mama. Yes, you. Just imagine, you sent your son-in-law to jail just because of ordinary keke. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Now let me tell you, in case you don't know. First off, I need to apologize to Soporo. Soporo, please. We're very sorry, okay? Um, my brother and I, we are the people you picked up that night. Yes, on our way to the hospital. I'm very sorry about everything. I'm very sorry that the ham robbers took your keke because of us. We're sorry about it. You know, I overheard you calling your name that night, Sop Room, Sop Room. And when we got to the police station, I heard you still saying Sop Room, Sop Room. That was why I called my brother to the corner and told him that we should look into your matter. Please, we are very sorry about it. We are sorry about everything. You... Relax, it's okay, so just relax, okay? You see, everything my sister just said was exactly how it happened. True. Yes. Um, Sopro, I want to thank you. Thank you so much for saving my life. I appreciate you, thank you. And I have settled your case with the police after those boys confessed that you were never part of them. They only roped you into that incident. Right now, you are a free person. So you're free to go. Once again, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I am the one thanking you here for saving my life. Thank you. Thank you. I'm OM. Your Highness. I am indeed you're a good man. I want to appreciate your effort so far for remembering what uh, Sopro did in the recent past. Um, of course, without um, Sopro, your success story won't be complete in the first place. Yeah. I appreciate your effort. Thank you. Um, having said that, Ichi Okwebo, you have heard it all. I warned you, but you didn't listen. I want you to uh, take home to Sopro, a tangible thing to appease him and his wife. And that he must do immediately. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I will. Call on my dad to uh, service you in a very good way. Let there be some merriment. What's up, Olum? Now we are done with our mother's burial. I called for this meeting. And I'll go straight to the purpose. If I ask you to go back to the city to start your business all over again, how much will you need? Um, you know, this country now, things are hard. To get money is, is hard, you know. But um, if I have, you know, like two or three million, you know, two or three million, uh, it's enough for me to start. It's enough for me to go back and, and, and start my life again. I'll pick up from there. So if I should give you two or three million naira now, that would be enough for you to start all over. Two or three million? Mm -hmm. Me, if I have two, two or three million, 
Huh. In less than 48 hours, I'll be out of here now. What, what am I doing here? I'll go back to the city now. I'll go and meet my friends on the same line now. Callisto's journey. I'll, I'll deposit something with them now. Uh, they'll give me goods uh, to, to start off my life. I, I will be out of here. What are we doing here? Two or three, mil two or three million. Mm, uh, what are we doing here? Oh, that's okay. I will. I will give it to you. Thank you. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Just like that. Thank you. No, 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 no. Come on. No, 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 no. no. Come on. No, no. Please, please. Please, 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 please. It's okay. Sit. Please. Sit. Hey. Just like that. Uh, sit. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> no, it's nothing hey. to worry yourself hey. about. It's okay. nothing to worry yourself okay. about, okay? But I mean, your husband deserves even more than hey. that. It's okay. <laughs> what bank do you use, please? Bank. Bank. Uh, 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 Sites Bank. Okay. Yes. Uh, what is your account uh, um, number? Um, um, Account um, number, account um, number. Um, um, I'm shaking. Account number now. 4, 4, 4, 4, 0, 9, 9, 2, 9, 2, 1. Alright, I've sent the 2 million naira to you. Hey. Thank you, yes. bro. Thank you. Thank God. Come on. No, 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 madam. Stop. Madam, stop. No, 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 please. You. God bless you. Sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. 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 No, 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 it's okay. No, 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 come on, come on, it's okay, it's okay. No, 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 madam, no, thank you. No, please, please. No, 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 madam, come on, madam, please. Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Madam, it's okay. It's okay. God bless you. It's okay. It's okay. God bless you. It's okay. Hey. 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 Saburo. Saburo, come on. It's nothing. <laughs> oh my god. I'm loving this look, oh. I'm loving this look. Really? Look at this serious artwork on your face, eh? You have not seen anything yet, too. Eh. <laughs> Wait until I start showing you. Eh. In fact, that city, yes. I am slain into it. Slay. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I'm hearing you say the slay. My you. wife say it shocked you. you. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, sir. And what in God's name are you doing in my house, Opego? What are you doing here? Then how are you? My son-in-law. How are you? Can I sit down? Let's sit down, sit down. <clears throat> My lovely daughter, Goma. Mm -mm -mm. Don't. Don't. I won't have you call me that. I am not your daughter. You cease to be my father. I told you that a long time ago. Don't make that mistake. Keep my name out of your mouth. <laughs> uh, my son in law, Sokolo. Please, I want you to calm my daughter down. Your wife. I know she's angry with me. And um, the reason I'm here is to come and apologize to both of you. Because I know I offended you in a big way. My conscience is disturbing me. I can't sleep at night. Mm. Anytime I go to bed from night to morning, I will be awake because of what I did to both of you. Please. My lovely daughter, I want you to find a place in your heart to forgive me. My son-in-law, Sopro, I also want you to find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please, I am very, 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 very sorry. Hmm? You are my son-in-law and you are my lovely daughter. Anytime I remember what I did to you, I, please. Mm. 
please forgive your father. Do not allow him to commit suicide. Did you say suicide? Yes. He nearly committed suicide. He already hung himself. When I walked in and saw him, I started shouting. And by God's grace, people rushed in and brought him down. He would have been dead by now. Your father has no peace anymore, like he told you. He doesn't sleep at night. He sits only in talking to himself, like a madman. These are the things I'm witnessing in him recently. Honestly, he regrets everything he did. I apologize on his behalf also. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive him. My daughter, if your father commits suicide because of you, it will be an abomination. I'm begging, I'm pleading. My son-in-law, I know how painful it is. But please, I'm begging. You people should please forgive him. Please, mom. What I want to go. You sent me to jail. Five years. Five years. Five freaking years. What was my crime? Okay, go. What was my crime? Fate and love. I know what I saw in that prison. Things you would not even imagine would happen to your enemy. I saw in that prison happened to me. Five years. But above all of that, because I know God, I will tell you this. To err is human. Forgive is divine. Even the Bible says, love your enemies and pray for them. Pray for those who persecute you. And pray for those who persecute you, Okwego. I say this before God and man. Okwego, my in law, I forgive you. I forgive you. Here is your father. And I know above every other day you wouldn't want to make your mother a widow. So please, if you love me, if you love our child, to raise our child in the ways of God, you will forgive this man. You let go of this body. 
Kelly's. Hug him. Hug him. <laughs> Let's go off the body. Let's go. Adam Biko. Let's go. No more. Just let it go. Please. But when you are broke 